Got cold. I don't know. I'm my friends. I'm my friends. Turn to fold. I don't know. For the end. For the end. So I'll go. So I'll go. What you six? Yeah, yeah. Better know. Better know it. How to love. How to love. Got cold. I don't know. I'm my friends. I'm my friends. Turn to fold. I don't know. For the end. For the end. So I'll go. So I'll go. What you six? Yeah, yeah. Hey. Do you got my back when it's popping up? Hey. See you fronting like you hard, but you really soft. Hey. Hoping when it hit the fan, you ain't running off. Hey. I'ma try you by your words. Careful how you talk. How you talk. I see how you moving. Never trust a fake friend. I surround myself with people that gon' ride to the end. Yeah. I can't mess with you if all you do is just pretend. Fake. I can't mess with people I can easily offend. Are you offended? Oh, damn. Wax cold. I love wax cold. Hey. Yeah. We was brothers. I you turn a soldier. Cold. I don't know. I'm my friends. I'm my friends. Turn to fold. I don't know. For the end. For the end. So I'll go. So I'll go. What you six? Yeah, yeah. Better know. Better know it. How to love. How to love. Got cold. I don't know. I'm my friends. I'm my friends. Turn to fold. I don't know. For the end. For the end. So I'll go. So I'll go. What you six? Yeah, yeah. Better know. Better know it. Where I belong That loneliness feeling is gone The simplest things in life Brings us comfort We'll fight cause we're Bishop on deck Face Jerusalem. So Men of Israel, blow trumpets. Trumpets down. The book of Psalms, chapter 121. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in. From this time forth, even forevermore. Heavenly Father, the God of our father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, we come to you, Father God, in the name of you, Son Jesus Christ, Father God. We give you all praise of glory, Father God, for another Sabbath. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Father God, for providing a place, Father God, that we can come and fellowship and worship you to you, Son Jesus Christ. Father God, as we are about to start class, Father God, we ask you, Father God, you put special spirit on Bishop Nathaniel, Lord, that his words may go out, that a brother may use it to become a better husband. He may use it to become a better brother, a better father. He may use it to become a better leader, that the sisters may use this word, Father God, to become a better wife, a better sister. Father God, may you go out forth, Father God, that you people may repent to the spirit of your son, Jesus Christ, Father God. We thank you, Lord, for using our UIC for thy glory. We thank you, Father God, for using the leadership, the bishop, the deacons, the captain, the officers, we thank you for using these men, Father God, to continue to spread your word and the fucking of the earth that you people may come back to you. But Lord, as you know, as you people are coming back, Father God, the enemy is coming up. The enemy is rising up. Heavenly Father, destroy our enemies. Destroy our enemies, Father God, that they may never rise up again, Father God. Don't forget, Father God, they are our enemies just like your enemies, Father God. 
destroy them for the evil, for the wickedness they do and continue to do against you people, Father God. Even when you look at today, Father God, in the Middle East, they're still doing evil to you people. Father God, remember what they did to us, Father God. Don't forget them, Lord. Destroy them for that. Father God, we pray for those our people who are sick, Father God, especially those who are in the quest with us, Father God, who, who are sick. May you touch them. May you heal them swiftly and quickly, Father God. Father God, we ask for mercy on you people in these last days, Lord. We ask you, Lord, you increase our faith as it's getting harder and harder out here, Father God. We ask, Father God, you increase our faith. You strengthen our spirit, Lord. Help us to continue. Help us not to give up, Lord, because the devil wants us to give up. Help us not to give up, Father God. Help us to endure. Also, help us to overcome. Help us to overcome the filthiness of America, Father God. Lord, we thank you. Let the okay say, hallelujah. 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 He sent the name of you, son Jesus, the cross to give you all praise of glory. We also ask you, Father God, you bless our food and our strong drink. I'm on. Many Israel, sons of God, patient saints, sons of God, and salute. Salute. Damn. Face, sisters, to the honorable daughters of Sarah, we say shalom. Shalom, 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 Israel. Shalom, most high God's bless. We back, we back. We in the building. Are we on? Most high God's bless. Most high God's bless. Blood as we know how we do. Have a paper, your Bible, your apocrypha, pen. Get ready. Bishop is gonna go in. She's going to go in, Lord's willing. So, Bishop, whenever you're ready. Huh? So, <laughs> hey, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, how y'all like Bishop, uh, 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 the, the skills, man? Did y'all hear the bars? That's right, that's right. Did y'all hear Bishop bars? That's right. Hey, they, hey, y'all ain't no Bishop had go. it like that. That's they know, how we do it. Bishop could, could right. handle a track like that. That's right. Up with to Mosai. Hey, you know, as we was talking, if you guys know this, for this wicked so-called Christmas, he's so pushing that garbage in our face every chance they got. 24, they don't stop. Since October. Since October, they don't stop. Guess what we got to do, brothers? Right. We got to do the same thing. Right. The same way that push that thing on our people, we got to push the righteous music on our people too. And I'm not just talking about the Israelite, the repented Israelite. I'm talking about even Israelite that's not repented yet. That's why I like that thing the brothers go, go in the street, play, the, play those music and ask the people, what do you think about this, what do you think about that? I know some of you thinking this, uh, uh, some of you think it's small. It's not small. Right. It's not small. Remember, brothers, we're fighting against demonic spirit in high places. Mm -hmm. We got to push the same thing they do. We got to push it. That's why Bishop said, uh -uh, she's seven days a week, three times a day, every day, nonstop. Because we, 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 we got a lot of work to do. I'm talking to your leaders. We got a lot of work to do. So the same thing they do, we got to do it too. Go ahead, so, so Satan going hard, we got to go harder. Yeah. Right. Hey, you, you know how some of you used to go harder in the world? Yeah. Now you're in the truth. Now you got to go harder. Go ahead, Bishop. That's the way they went hard to get that box in the world. Right. They need to go hard for the Most High's work. Right. Y'all know what I'm talking about, you homemonger brothers over there. <laughs> hey, I just want to give a shout out of thanks to the brothers that helped. You know, remember the packages uh, when we were on the cruise, the Quest, yes, yes, yes. under Captain Mattathias? Yes. And they had the packages for every yes. island, every camp. Uh, I want to give a special shout out of thanks to Officer Joshua Rochester. <laughs> 
Officer Noah of New Jersey, Officer That's Nicholas right. of DC, Officer K K K K H A H Y. How do you say the Virginia K K Yil? K Yil. Officer Amasai of Netherlands, Officer Ezekiel of Netherlands, Officer Ma Matthias of Sacramento, Officer Benji of Atlanta, Officer Gideon of DC, um, Officer Joshua again. Uh, all of that work, it's astronomical. Astronomical, to know where the embassy is, the police station, the hospitals. That take work, brothers That's and sisters. Right? Deep recon, we, the reconnaissance. That's some, that was some fantastic stuff. I love it. Because, Bishop, you know why? I'm, I'm so glad Bishop take notice of this man. You guys have no idea what type of work go behind the scene. You only look at, you only look at in front of the camera. But behind the camera, you have no idea the type of work. This brother gave me a little book. I opened that little book. I was shocked. The thing, they, the type of information that was in that little book, I was shocked. And it take a lot of people to do that. For a year, they take a year to, to, to put that thing together. Yeah. Everything was in there. Phone numbers, address, everything was in there. That's, that's some dedication. Permit, everything. Yeah. So upwards to Mosai for this brother's bishop mentioned. And oh, those man. of you we don't mention, don't, we don't forget you. You, you work, don't go in vain for the Mosai. Just remember that. That's right. That's right. All praise to the Mosai. All right. So today's lesson, today's class is entitled the Camerims. C-H. Put the, yeah, put the, I know it's hard to spell. It was a shock to me, too. Was, you know, I, do, when, I still do my four chapters a day. Some brothers think I don't do four chapters a day. I do my minimum four chapters a day. Sometimes I do six. Sometimes I do eight. So, Chimarim, C-H-E-M-A-R-I-M-H. Can y'all put that back on the screen so the people at home can see how to spell it? C-H-E-M-A-R-I-M-S. So that word I came across... And the caterpillars. Many of you know about the caterpillars. So, the chemerums and caterpillars for Gaza. <sighs> now we see they just uh, shut down Sean King's Instagram because he was showing too much uh, information. Ca uh, Captain Arell, did you find that for me? Captain Arell? Captain Arell, did you find that information I asked you for? Okay. All right. Uh, I was looking for T-Mobile put out a message that starting January, they got an acronym called SHAFT. Any kind of text messages that include uh, sexuality, hate speech, alcohol, you got it? Can you send it to, uh, send it to Officer Alicia? Put it in class with the request. I want them to know that I'm not making it up. People think that Negro lying. I'm not lying. Alicia, you got it? It should be an online class request. All right, I want that up. I want the people at home to see what I'm making reference to. It, I don't know if that's the first page. Where's the first page at? Uh, where's T Mobile? It should say. Is that the first page? That's the second page, Alicia. The part we want is the second page, but open up with the first page. So this is in your T-Mobile contracts now. This is under Hacker News. OK. Uh, can you, that top under Hacker News, can you zoom in on that? T-Mobile introduced fines from January 1st for code of conduct violations. Now, let's go to the bottom, which is on page two, Alicia. Page two. They got an acronym called SHAFT right there. Read that, uh, uh, Arel, I mean, not Arel, uh, Yuri. Yes, sir. Can you read that? Yes, sir. SHAFT is a handy acronym to help you remember types of content which is either forbidden or subject to special rules. Sexually inappropriate content. H, hate speech or profanity. A, alcohol. F, firearms and depictions or endorsements of violence. T, tobacco, including vaping, or endorsement of illegal or illicit drugs, including marijuana and cannabis. In addition to the above, the promotion of gam gambling is not allowed. Now, go back to page one. 
Because this doesn't tell you how much. You're the bottom. That whole section at the bottom. All right. Read that. The bottom, sir. Tier three? Yes. Tier three. $500 for all other violations, including but not limited to shaft. So if they read your text and they deem that what you are texting is inappropriate sexuality, some type of hate speech, alcoholism, I guess talking about you, uh, illegal sales, something like that, uh, firearms or tobacco, you will be fined $500. So this is the new world, brothers and sisters. Welcome to 2024, as they say. That's T-Mobile. I'm glad I ain't got T-Mobile. To hell with T-Mobile. If you got T-Mobile, you better get rid of it. I hear somebody watching your text, man, and they're going to try to figure out what you're talking about. Yeah, they're going to do it with everybody eventually. You know what we're going to have to do? i tell you offline. Yes. Don't say nothing online. That's right. That's right. Officer Yuri, we're going to open up with uh, oh, the book of Obadiah. The brothers, we always got a plan. We always got a plan. You better right. remember that. That's, That's right. We're going to let all the captains know. Wait, wait, wait. What? what? Oh, it's going all carrots. What the hell is this? The hell with your iPhone. Read that. Read that. Read that. This is war. <laughs> U.S. telecom carriers have acceptable use messaging standards and monitor outbound SMS and MMS traffic to block delivery of disallowed content. Effective January 1st. Carriers like T-Mobile will begin issuing aggressive fines for sending prohibited messages. Prohibited message types and associated fines include $2,000 fine for SMS phishing and social engineering. That ain't us. $1,000 fine for illegal content, including but not limited to cannabis, marijuana. That ain't us. CBD vaping, illegal prescriptions, and any content relating to each. This fine applies to content in any of the 50 U.S. states or Canada and is restricted irrespective of where the message originates. $500 fine for messages with shaft, sex, hate, alcohol, firearms, tobacco content, or other violations of the T-Mobile Code of now, Conduct. If you, if you send a text about the Arabs or about Jewish people, that's really what it's talking about, so-called Jewish people. Oh, hate speech, $500. The hell is this? Well, guess what? The Bible uses many words. And we're going to use these words. Right. Yuri. Sir. Let's open up with Obadiah verse 6. Obadiah verse 6. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? Meaning there are many things that Esau has secret. He has hidden in this earth, in this world, but it's going to be sought up. It shall be searched out. Yeah. Give me Matthew 10, 26. Matthew chapter 10, verse 26. Fear them not, therefore, for there is nothing covered that They're shall... talking about the Pharisees. Man, don't fear man. Why? Read. For there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed. There's nothing that they've covered up that shall not be revealed. Go ahead. And hid that shall not be known. And there's nothing that they've hidden that shall not be known. Everybody understand that? That's why a lot of information is coming out now. All right, hey, give me that precept, Yuri, in Psalms, is it 64? But he makes their tongue, that one. You know what I'm talking about? Yuri. 64 sir. 64 and 8, somewhere around there. Yes, sir. Psalms chapter 64, verse 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. So God makes their own tongue. Their own people are the ones coming up getting pissed off at their ancestors, at their own people saying they did this, they did that. Even the Edomite man that confessed on his deathbed that he murdered Bob Marley. He gave Bob Marley, he was a CIA, a CIA agent, gave him a new pair of sneakers. You know, Negroes love sneakers. And it had a pen in it. Uh, uh, what's the word? A needle. He put the sneaker on, Bob Marley, he got pricked, and that's what killed him. Dang. Slowly but surely, the man, the Edomite man confessed on his deathbed. Okay, just like the white woman, is it Carolyn Brant, Bryant? Bryant? Bryant, the woman that 
had Emmett Till put to death, she confessed that it was her. She lied. She admitted to her lie. Yep. Read again, Yuri. So they I'll shall lie. make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. Mm -hmm. All that see them shall flee away. What y'all finding out? They are the devil the Bible speaks of. Uh, Officer, let's you give me the dictionary. Dictionary is uh, cyclopedia, please. The Royal Dictionary Cyclopedia for universal reference. Bring a complete literary, classical, historical, biographical, geographical, scientific, and technological expositor of the English language. Now, these are the old dictionaries. These are the dictionaries that brothers search out, I myself search, and we find these books, okay? So go to the next page. And very bottom. Read that. Amalekites. I want bigger than that. I want it bigger than that. I want it to fill the screen. So there's no confusion. A little smaller. A little smaller. Just a little bit. Go ahead. Read that. Whole thing, sir? Yep. No, just a highlight. Yes, sir. Amalekites. A tradition prevails that a small number of the Am Amalekites colonized a part of Greece. And where the stock went to the Macedonians and Spartans sprung. So that's what I want. Alexander the Greek in them stem from the Amalekites. Wow. That's what they're letting you know. Wow. Can I get a bomb, somebody? What the hell is this? We was just watching, uh, I, was, well, I was just watching Alexander the Greek the other day. Give me the next book, The Chosen People by Michael Bradley. Chosen People from the Caucasus by Michael Bradley. Let's go inside the book. I want the top highlighted section. Yes. Most of them are descendants of Russian... Wait, 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 where are you? Oh, yeah, most of them. I'm sorry. Go yes, ahead, sir. Yuri. I'm sorry. Yes, sir. Most of them are descendants of Russian steppe tribesmen. So these are Russians. Russians. Go ahead. Who were converted to Judaism uh -huh. in mass around 740 A.D. Uh-huh. So a lot of these Russians converted to Judaism in mass in 740 A.D. Go ahead. Being of highly aggressive Caucasoid genetic stock. I want you to look at that part right there. Being of highly aggressive. You know what highly aggressive means? Warlike. They like violence. Read. Being of highly aggressive Caucasoid genetic stock. Modern Jews could be expected to be highly aggressive in consequence. And they're telling you that wow. these modern Jews are that people. Does everybody see that? Yeah. Read on. Now, the Khazar conversion... Now, that group of Russians that converted is telling you they were called the Khazars. Read that again now. Now, the Khazar conversion origin of most of modern Jewry is a fact discovered by Jewish scholars and a fact accepted by almost all Jewish scholars. So what are they telling us? Jewish scholars know that they converted to Judaism. They know that they're not the people of the Bible. Everybody understand that? Let's go to the next page. Page 197, the bottom. The essential point is that these Ashkenazi M, the Jewry of Eastern Europe and the prime victim of Hitler's Holocaust, were descendants of Khazar tribes people. Do y'all see that? So the Ashkenazi Jews are descendants of the Khazar tribes people. Damn. Those are the victims of Hitler's Holocaust. Notice they were all the same people. It's just that one group of them converted to Judaism. <laughs> Read on. They were converts to Judaism. Y'all see that? Come on. They have no historical or genetic connection with the biblical Jews of Palestine at all. Do you hear this? We didn't write this book. Go ahead. And this was known among themselves and among the more astute Jewish and non-Jewish historians and linguists. Ah, so this was known among the most astute, meaning the smartest Jewish people and the non-Jewish historians like your Arabs, like your Afghanistanis, like your Chinese and Japanese. Those are the non-Jewish historians and linguists. Go ahead. From at least 1700 A.D., it was a well-known if this hey, Bishop, now you know why they don't allow DNA in Israel. There you go. Now you know why. Yep. 
Okay. It was a well-known, if disguised and ignored fact of Jewish life from 1850 onward. So I said it, if disguised and ignored fact. We don't. Most of what, quote unquote, we Gentiles in North America considered to be Jewish and most of what even the Ashkenazim. So that's you peon whites out there that don't know a damn thing. Read it again. Most of what we Gentiles in North America consider to be Jewish and most of what even the Ashkenazim immigrants into North America consider to be Jewish is not Jewish at all. The Hasidic side lock. Those little damn curls they got. The skull cap. That little stupid yarmulke on their head. Yarmulke. The rabbi's fur trimmed that hat. That stupid fur hat is like a gallon of milk up right, there. Right, right. Good. And and caftans, uh huh. Gefilte the fish, gefilte the fish. None of that is Jewish, brothers. When y'all on the street, you gotta challenge these people. People said that those are the Jews. Where you read about the yarmulke in the Holy Bible? Where do you read about that that fur hat in the Bible? Where do you read the curly cues in the Bible? It ain't in there. So the point of that is. It's not for you to have to prove that you're the Jews. Exactly. They have to prove it them damn selves. There you go. They can. There you go. There you That's go. That's right. Come on. Not in the sense that it originated from the people of Abraham in ancient Palestine. It is all Khazar. Mm. It reflects traditions of step tribesmen who never had anything to do with biblical Hebrews or Judaism. Woo! That's some heavy stuff. Give me the president of Syria. I know we looked at it last week, but I love it. I'm going to look at it again. The president of, Jer of Syria broke code. He broke code of Psalms 83. Come on. Psalm oh, not Psalms 83. Uh, the video. Yuri, can you read it? Yes, sir. Can y'all blow it up bigger than that or no? Can I make it fill the screen? Okay. I want to try to have it fill the screen because I know it's often shown real small, but I don't know if they can do it because I think it's uh, Instagram or something. You know, TikTok shut it down. They took the audio off and said misinformation. Right. His own speech. The His speech. own speech. The president of Syria's speech, they said misinformation. You don't you find that suspicious. Stuff. Exactly. He broke code. That's why. you, Cracker, you broke code. That's yeah, there we go. Yuri, if you could uh, read it along. Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay, let's go. Hmm? Okay, it's playing. I don't hear Yuri reading anything. Yes, sir. The, the words were in the way. I, I can read out. The question on everybody's mind is. That's not the beginning, though. Yes, sir, those, those words. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, there is no evidence six million Jews were killed in the Holocaust. U.S. financially helped the rise of Nazism between the two world wars. Most, those, I got to wait for those words. Happen with the, the question on everybody's mind is, how is it that despite the German collapse and European constraints, Nazism was allowed to rise and build an army? It was done with American support, money, loans, and investments. There is no evidence that six million Jews were killed in the Holocaust. Perhaps there were Holocausts. Nobody denies this. True, there were concentration camps. <laughs> but what shows you that is a politicized issue, this is, and is not a humanitarian issue and is not real. How can we talk about these six millions? But not about the 26 million Soviets killed in that war. Wait, stop. Pause right there. Y'all ever think about that? 26 million Soviets died during World War II, but nobody talked. I bet if I had asked how many died, nobody in here no, listen, would know. No, 
I didn't know. All we ever hear about is six million. Even when I remember in Nigeria, you was with us in Nigeria. I asked, there was a whole big crowd. If y'all look at the video, I asked the brother, I said, what's worse? Uh, 100 million Negroes taken from Nigeria to the Americas dying during the Middle Passage or 6 million? Guess what the dumb nigga said? He said 6 million is worse. You can make up the, the amount of brainwashing that affects black people through Christianity. And that's what President Al-Assad is explaining. Go back. But not about the 26 million Soviets killed in that war. Are these six millions more precious? The same acts were everywhere. There was no method of torture or killing specific to the Jews. Right, wait, 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 wait. So whatever, what, however, if, whether it was gunfire burning in Auschwitz, it was not specific for those group of Khazarian Jews. Everybody understand that? They use those methods for what? Black people was killed in those things. We was in the military. But none of that's ever spoken about. Puerto Ricans were there too. Native Americans, look it up. We were there. We were there. We were killed just like these Khazarian Ashkenazi people. But our deaths don't matter. The hell, the hell with us. Go ahead. The Nazis use the same method everywhere. However, this issue was politicized in order to falsify the truth and later to prepare for the transfer of the Jews from Europe to other areas, or rather to Palestine. The Jews who came to Palestine are Khazar Jews from Woo! east of the Caspian Sea. Mm, 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 mm. They were pagans who converted to Judaism in the 8th century. <laughs> they immigrated to Europe and from there came to this region. They have nothing to do whatsoever with the ancient people of Israel. That's right. There you go. That's right. So people think if we're making some racist statement, no. Even the president of Syria acknowledged that thing. See that? I love it so. The Lord's making their own tongue fall upon themselves. That devil broke code. Damn. Hey, give me the next video with the Arab guy talking about language. Yeah, that's it. Turn it up. Pay attention to this. He said the fact that in Arabic you don't have the letter P, but the land is called Palestine is hilarious. Turn it up. The land is called Palestine. Stop. He said the land is not Palestine, it's called Philistine. I've been telling y'all it's the same word. Go back. Let's play it again. Go all the way through. But the land is called Palestine is hilarious. Go back to the beginning. Come on. He said the fact that in Arabic you don't have the letter P, but the land is called Palestine is hilarious. The land is called Philistine. Have Arabic letters. But the irony of speaking about language. When Hebrew actually had to undergo a revival to change it from a largely sacred liturgical language to a literary and spoken language for modern usage. So that Israelis would have a common national language. Because even the pre-existing Jews in Palestine didn't speak Hebrew in colloquial usage. They spoke Arabic, Ladino, Yiddish, etc. Because the Zionists understood political theorists considered language one of the constituent parts of what makes up the nation and a national identity. Towards the end of the 19th century, they began to revive this language since it more or less became extinct as a spoken language. Sometimes Stop! He admitted Hebrew was extinct as a spoken language. Everybody heard him say that. Watch what he goes on to say. Nation and a national identity. Towards the end of the 19th century, they began to revive this language since it more or less became extinct as a spoken language sometime between 200 and 400 CE. They educated people in modern Hebrew until 2018 when Hebrew became the sole official language of Israel. Even the guy who is regarded as the reviver of the Hebrew language 
his native language was Yiddish. He literally invented words and adapted words from old Hebrew words and other languages, including Arabic, to denote like objects that were unknown in antiquity or had been forgotten in their original Hebrew usage and context. So when I tell you everything about that place is engineered and manufactured methodically, and someone on Instagram wants to imply that somehow Palestinians are not rooted in this land because the Arabic language doesn't have the letter P. All right, don't forget to comment and- uh, Did y'all hear what he said? Everything about Israel was manufactured, engineered. In other words, fake. That's what he's saying. Everything about them is fake, but people believe that's the people of the book. That's the holy language. How wrong you all. Give me the next book by Charles Weissman. Who? Read. Who is Esau Edom by Charles A. Weissman? So one of the Jewish scholars put this together. Let's go inside the book for the origin. Let's zoom in. The origin of the Jews. The Jews of today fall within two main types, the Sephardic Jew and the Ashkenazi Jew. The Sephardim are also known as Spanish Jews and constitute about 5% of the Jews in the world. The Ashkenazi are the East European Jews, which are found in Poland, Russia, Germany, and Western Asia. This group of Jews make up 90% of the so-called Jews in the world. Many reference in historical sources have unequivocally identified that the bulk of the Ashkenazi Jews were derived from a people known as Khazars mm -hmm. or Chazars in some texts. The original Jewish Encyclopedia of 1905 revealed that the main stock of the Jews came from this Asiatic people known as Khazars or Khazars. Chazars, a people of Turkish origin whose life and history are interwoven with the very beginnings of the history of the Jews of Russia. Historical evidence points to the region of the Urals as the home of the Khazars. Next page. You want to highlight it? Set, blow, let's blow it up big. Go ahead. The Khazars are also of Edomite stock. Do you hear what he said? He admitted the Khazars are Edomites of Genesis 25, 25. <laughs> Read it again. The Khazars are, are also of Edomite stock. And both stocks make up the present-day Jews. Damn! Jump down. According to the Jewish Encyclopedia, the original stock of the Khazars came from the land of Edom. Y'all see that? That's their scholars. That's not something we sat down and wrote. Next page. Anti-Semitism at the bottom. Anti-Semitism. The term anti-Semitism has been used by the Jews to counter and conceal God's natural order and plan in the world. Stop right there. Anytime you read the true Hebrew scriptures, that's what the Bible's called, Hebrew scriptures, they say you're an anti-Semite. The reason is to counter and conceal God's natural order and plan in the world. Do y'all see that? They don't want the truth to come out. So they oh, you're anti-Semite. That's their plan. That's their agenda. Next page. Wait, go back. Let me see something. Go back to the bottom. Read it again. The whole section there. Yes, sir. Anti-Semitism. The term anti-Semitism has been used by the Jews to counter and conceal God's natural order and plan in the world. An order which has assigned to the Jew the role of aggressor. They are the aggressor. Hater. They are the hater. Destroyer. They are the destroyer. Seducer. They are the seducer. Invader. They are the invader. And corrupter. And they are the corrupter. That's what their scholars put together. Give me the next page. If Esau's true identity and traits become publicly known. Wait, 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 wait. If Esau's true identity and traits become publicly known. Hold that. Hey, Yuri. Real quick, give me 2 Thessalonians. Is it 2 and 8? I think it's that one. Then we come right back to this book right here. Put me picture in picture. Picture in P and P, P. Yeah, like that. Read that for us. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 and verse 8. And then shall that wicked be revealed. Brothers, the Bible says, and then shall that wicked be revealed. Go ahead. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. The spirit of the Lord's mouth is the Bible. The Bible does not speak by itself, brothers. 
It needs a man to go out and teach it. Right. Everybody understand yeah. that? Right. So read it again, Yuri. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, uh -huh. and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So after a point of him being revealed, Christ said, I'm going to come back and destroy. Now go back to this part here in the book. If Esau's true identity and traits become publicly known, he will once again be powerless in the world. He's going to get jacked up by the Lord. Go ahead. The Jews have inherited these attributes of Esau and frantically try to silence anyone who would reveal them. That's why this is a war. When we tell y'all this is war, we mean it's war. This is war! The Lord said he would have war with Amalek from generation to generation. Y'all remember that? Yeah. Go ahead. The anti-Semitic charge along with the hate laws. Oh, that's that. Weren't we just reading about hate laws? Yeah. Go ahead. Is a tool the Jew uses in defense of his offensive. In defense of his offensive? Hostile. Hostile? Revolutionary. Revolutionary? And anti-Christian nature. Anti-Christ nature. They're anti-Christ. Go ahead. If it can be insinuated that one charged with anti-Semitism is the hater and aggressor, an emotional response of the masses can be directed against that individual. That's what's going to happen. That's what we got to do. Go ahead. Forcing him into either silence or loss of status in society, business, or politics. What y'all got to realize, the same thing they're doing here, this is why Hitler was blasting their behinds. They were taking over everything, everything, okay? Just like they're doing now. They got the banks, they got the communications, they got the government, they got the, uh, the uh, media, IMF. Uh, World Bank, they got it all, okay? But there is a God, brothers and sisters. There is a God. Give me the next book. Read that. Modern Judaism, or a brief account of the opinions, traditions, rites, and ceremonies of the Jews in modern times by John Allen. Mm -hmm. Let's go inside the book. What year was this book published? 1830. 1830. Pay close attention. Okay. First. First. Can y'all make it bigger than that? First. First, that the descendants of Esau, the sworn enemies of the descendants of Jacob, even to the end of the world. Y'all see that? The scholars put together that Esau are the sworn enemies of the descendants of Jacob, even to the end of the world. That's for those of you that want, oh, I got a white friend called Timmy. Oh, I got a good white friend named uh, uh, what, uh, Karen. She got Karen. The hell is this? It said they're your sworn enemies. Go ahead, read on. We're at first a small nation inhabiting Mount Seir in the adjacent country, contiguous to the land of Canaan, that they were easily confined within their own limits as long as the Israelites enjoyed a great and formidable empire in So Canaan. as long as our empire thrived and flourished, and flourished they remained in their area, small. Go ahead. But, but that after the powerful republic of the 12 tribes was destroyed by the Assyrians. So what happened if we were destroyed by the Assyrians and Babylonians? And Babylonians, they wonderfully increased in numbers and strength. The Edomites wonderfully increased in numbers and strength. Go ahead. Extended their dominion towards the west. Uh, now pay close attention to this part. Go ahead. You, come on, y'all. Towards the west, spread their colonies far and wide, subjugated Italy. So they took over Italy. Founded Rome. They founded Rome. And the Roman Empire. And they had the Roman Empire. The Edomites and the Roman Empire. Go ahead. At length, entirely overturned the Jewish state. They overturned the Jewish state. Which had been restored after the termination of the Babylonian captivity. Meaning when we came back from Persia. Go ahead. The second temple being destroyed by Titus Vespasian, and that in the present day, professing the religion of Jesus of Nazareth. So that's the cat when they became Catholics. Roman Catholicism. Rome accepted Christianity that they called Roman Catholicism. That was that twisted perversion of Scripture. Go ahead. Which they were the first of all nations to embrace. Right, that's Ro Rome did. Watch this. They hold the dominion over all Europe. Wait a minute. So it says they hold the dominion over all Europe. That means 
The Germans are Edomites. The French are Edomites. The English are Edomites. Give me some more. The Swedish are the Edomites. The Russians are Edomites. Come on. Ukrainians are Edomites. The Belgians are Edomites. The Italians are Edomites. And guess what? The Americans are Edomites. The hell is going on? Yeah. You see this? Read that again, Yuri. They hold. They hold the dominion over all Europe. Esau detaining in captivity his brother Jacob. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We know a little bit of history. We know that we in captivity along with the indigenous Indians. So that means we all are Jacob. The hell is this? We can put two in. We know one and one is two. Go ahead. Esau detaining in captivity his brother Jacob, at least as far as regards the tribe of Judah, Mm -hmm. till his Messiah, Ben David, shall appear. Messiah meaning the anointed son of David. Who is that, brothers? Christ shall appear. Go ahead. Secondly, that the prophecies of the prophets against Esau, Edom, Seir, and the cities of Edom. Next page. Especially those of Isaiah. Jeremiah and Obadiah have not yet received their full accomplishment. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So the scholars said that Esau has not received their full accomplishment based on the writings of Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Obadiah. Come on. Hold on. So what in the hell are those apologetics talking about? I don't know. (laughs) You damn liars, you. (laughs) Go ahead. For that though the house of Esau has experienced some particular judgments of God. Yeah, some judgments like World War I, World War One, World War II. Yep. Go ahead. On account of the injuries at different periods of time inflicted upon Israel. Mm-hmm. Yet the final vengeance on account of that last and greatest injury, the destruction of the second temple by Titus and the transportation of the Jews into captivity in which they are still most appropriately detained. We're still detained in captivity. Is yet <laughs> impending over it. And they ain't got no judgment for that yet. Go ahead. To be executed in the time of the Messiah. That's why we tell you, brothers, hey, wait on hey. Messiah. You know what I'm so heavy about this? The, the people over there in Israel who call themselves Jewish, are they detained? No. No? Mm-mm. So who's that Hell talking about? No. That's talking about us over mm-hmm. here in Haiti, Jamaica. Yep. That's what he's talking about. Exactly. Come on. That this is foretold by the prophets in all their denunciations of the severest plagues against the house of Esau, mm. the cities of Edom and Mount Seir, which all belong to Rome and the Christians. So it's letting you know the Christians are Edomites too. Right. Good. And that the fate of Christians at that time will be far more dreadful than that of Mohammedans. So they're going to get a worse judgment than the Muslims. That's the Mohammedans and Muslims. Go ahead. A Barbanel particularly says. So Barbanel is another scholar. Go ahead. The slaughter of the Turks in the future battle will not be so great as that of the Christians. Mm. For many of the Turks will escape, according to Isaiah 66, 66 verse 19. But of the Christians, Obadiah says, there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau. Wow, wow, wow. Woo! Woo-wee! Some good stuff right now. Make my teeth white. Now, we've been telling y'all for a long time, Esau is a violent, violent man. Give me that in Psalms 140, Yuri. Psalm chapter 140, verse 1. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Now, you, when you ask our sisters and brothers on this, who's the evil man? Some of them, especially if they're Christian, will point to a brother or a sister that's in the gang, the Bloods or the Crips. That's not the evil man the Bible is talking about. When it talks about man, it's talking about a type of man. I'm letting you know now it's talking about the Edomite man, the white man, the Caucasian man. Read it again. Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Mm -hmm. Preserve me from the violent man. Mm -hmm. 
which imagine mischiefs in their heart, which imagine mischiefs in their heart, continually are they gathered together for war. It says continually are they gathered together for war. Black, we don't war. We don't, our people don't, under, the, the Bloods and Crips don't understand war. Sure, they might rob you. That's not war. The white men understand war. Do they have tanks? Do they got nuclear devices? Do they have missiles? We ain't got none of that. So you're looking at the Negro, your fellow black brothers and sisters on the street, talking about they're the, those are the violent. No, 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 no. Tyrone can't make war. Tyrone run. As soon as Tyrone see a cop come, guess what Tyrone do? He run down his block. That's not war. Go ahead, read. Verse 2. Which imagine mischiefs in their heart continually are they gathered together for war. Mm -hmm. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Meaning their philosophies, their doctrines, their speech is like serpent's poison. Meaning what? It's poisonous. It'll kill you. Hey, Bishop, I'm glad you mm -hmm. said that when it comes to war. And yo, stop saying Israel is at war with Hamas. That's not a war. Right. That's not war. That's genocide. Mm -hmm. War is, I have me so, you have me so, we shoot at each other. Right. That's war. That's yeah. full war. Right. But you shooting me so that me kill, killing all my people and me, that's not war. Right. You killing women shooting nothing and children, that's not war. You killing women and children, that's not war. What the hell is this? <laughs> Read. They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips. Whatever they say, brothers, is poison. Whether it's religious speech or political speech, it's poison. Go ahead. Say la. Mm -hmm. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. They're calling them the wicked here too. Go ahead. Preserve me from the violent man mm -hmm. who have purpose to overthrow my goings. They have purpose to overthrow my goings. Now, let's see what Christ says about that. John 10 and 10. Let's see what Jesus said for you Christians out there. You lying Christians. Here we go. John chapter 10 verse 10. The thief. The thief. Come in. Wait, wait. I know when you hear the word thief, you think of Tyrone and Pookie. Right. Tyrone and Pookie, they might have robbed you, right. but they are not the thief. <laughs> Read it again. The thief cometh not. But for to steal. They come to steal. And to kill. And they come to kill. And to destroy. Pookie and Rayro ain't destroying nothing. This is talking about a major thief in the earth. A major stealer. A major destroyer. Read it again. The thief cometh not but for to steal. And to kill. And to destroy. I am come that they might have life. Christ said he's come that they might have life. That the Israelites might have life. Go ahead. And that they might have it. More abundant. Now I'm going to show you how violent, how evil Edomites are. I'm going to show you. I'm going to start with their old folks first. Play the video. Put the video on the screen. This is their old Edomites. Old so-called, what they call themselves, Jewish people. Hey, can we see the words at the bottom? Can we see the words? Elisha, can you take away the disclaimer? Yuri, can you read it? Yes, sir. Read, Yuri. And don't leave anyone behind. Go ahead. Are about to occur. Be triumphant and finish them off. And don't leave anyone behind. Erase the memory of them. Erase them, their families, mothers and children. Damn. These animals can no longer live. Nowadays, we have no excuse. Tomorrow, Hezbollah can send airstrikes against on us. And the Arabs here could attack us. So we have no excuse. Every Jew with a weapon should go out and kill them. If you have an Arab neighbor, don't wait. Go to his home and shoot him. Attack them and don't wait for them. To fire airstrikes at us. And for the Iron Dome to activate. 
attack them before that. We want to invade, not like before. We want to enter and destroy what's in front of us. Real quick, real quick. I know some of us are in awe by what we're hearing. Do you think he's any different than the southern Edomite, the northern Edomite, the western Edomite who burned black towns, who, who, who murdered brothers and sisters as they fled for their lives from the burning inferno of their homes and towns? You think they think any different? That's why Bishop is bringing out. They are the same damn people, no matter where they are. So don't be in awe, because he's saying this now about uh, uh, Gaza. Don't be, he said it about us long before he said it about Gaza. Right. Play. And destroy houses. <laughs> then destroy the one after it. <laughs> With all of our forces, complete destruction. <laughs> Enter and destroy. <laughs> As you can see. <laughs> we will witness things we never dreamed of. Let them drop bombs on them and erase them. All of the prophecies sent by the prophets <laughs> are about to occur. Be triumphant and finish them all. So now, that's the old folk. I know what you're thinking. That's not how the young uh, fake Israelis feel. That's not how they feel. It's a new generation. They're different. They're different. Yeah, we there except for the black president. Let's play the young girl, the young ones. Fuck people in Gaza. Why? What did they because do to you? People in, people in Gaza need to die. Is that seriously what you and think? I am, I am, kill a two people Palestinian. I don't believe you did that. I am in the army in Israel. Are you actually in the army? Yes, I, okay. I am in the army and I boom, boom, two people. Two Palestinians? Yes. Hey, some of y'all may not know. Pause it. The IDF, when you're an Israeli citizen, you have male and female have to join the military. Y'all know that, right? So she's not lying. Go back a little bit. She says she's in the army. He's like, you're in the army? Yes, these women are in the army. Go ahead. In the army, in a wait, 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 wait. Y'all know Gal Gadot? Wonder Woman. She is in the military too, dropping bombs and killing folks when she was there. Going back, go ahead, play. Wonder Woman. Yes. <laughs> I, okay. I am in the army, and I boom, boom, two people. Two Palestinians? Yes. And you're happy about it? Yes, of the world, course. The world, I want to kill four. No, no, yeah, no. The world's going to see your actions. Wow, yeah, yeah, that's, the young ones are no different. The only time they feel sorry is when you punch them in the mouth. I'm not saying do that. Don't go out and hurt nobody. But give me the, the, the picture, the photos, Elisha. All right, let's look at this. They like to say, oh, don't call it genocide. What they're doing is genocide in Gaza. It is. They did it to us, and they're doing it over there to them. Okay? And guess what? Palestinians, we do, we might feel a little something. But y'all did it to us as well. So you don't get a pass for what you did to us. Hell no. That's how they got the land. That's how they got Egypt, right. Tanzania, Morocco, uh, give me Libya, Libya. Uh, Mauritania, Libya. North Africa. They wiped us out. Yep. I'm talking about the Arabs. So they don't get a pass. Go on to the next picture. I'm showing you the violent man. This is the acts of the violent man. Give me the next one. Just flow through them, Alicia. Come on. Look at this. You can't make this stuff up. And, it, and the argument is, oh, we're looking for, we're killing Hamas. Let's say Hamas has 500 uh, members. They've killed hundreds of thousands. You mean all those women you killed, all those children that you killed, are Hamas members? No. You can, no, you can't make this stuff up. Stop the lies. Right. 
Bishop. Yes. The, um, we just watched the video last night, I think, about where they told him to go south. Yes. And now they are officially bombing everything exactly. south where they are. Y'all got to see the trickery of this man. Yep. He tells him, go south, it's going to be safer there. They go south, that's where they bombed him. Hey, Y'all you... keep trusting this white man. Well, see, and the reason that we know about it because it's televised. Yes. We don't, we're just starting to find out the evil the white man here did to us. If How they you... murdered us. Murdered us. If you think this is a war, listen, find, find a picture of Tel Aviv and Israel and find a picture of Gaza. Put them side by side. See if that's a war. That's not a war. No, they're going to flag us for that. It's one people just wiped out another people. That's not, that's not a war. That's, a, that's genocide. Find, find, a, find two pictures. Find out what they did in Gaza so far and how Israel look like right now. Mm -hmm. Now you're telling me if this is a war. Exactly. Go ahead. Find, find, a, picture of Gaza, find a picture of Gaza and find a picture of Tel Aviv. Because I'm not mistaken. I think Tel Aviv is the capital, right? Of Israel, isn't it? Is that right? No, Jerusalem's not a capital. Jerusalem is now, oh, now they changed to Jerusalem. Yes. But find a picture of Tel Aviv, where they got all these big sky equippers. Mm -hmm. They got a bunch of them in Tel Aviv. Look at Tel Aviv and look at Gaza. See if this is Tel Aviv. You see this? Now, find a picture of Gaza. <laughs> now, you tell me if this is a war. You can put them side by side. The picture Bishop just, the picture just show. One of the pictures where you show the whole, yep, right there. If this look like a war to you, that's just, you see, that's, that's, that's Gaza right now. Now you telling me that's a war. You go ahead, you judge. Damn. All right, that's a Bishop. Hey, hey and Esau, Amalek got their own words for stuff like this. They call it Goya side. Now, you the Goy, they kill you. Instead of genocide, they got their own little slang calling it Goya side. Damn. Hey, get me uh, Matthew 6.15. We're all familiar with this scripture. I'm going to show y'all something. Matthew 6.15. Your mama's probably read it to you as a baby. Your pastor probably read it to you in church. Matthew chapter <laughs> 6, verse 15. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses... Neither will your father forgive your trespasses. Hmm. Read 14 and 15 together. Verse 14. For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly father will also forgive you. But if you forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive your trespasses. Your first Christian thought that hits everybody's brain is forgive the white man for all his evil that he done. Damn. But you won't forgive Pookie or Ray Ray. Right. The hell is this? But you forgive that white man. Christ is talking to the Israelites about the Israelites for the Israelites. Everybody understand that? <laughs> now I'm going to show you how Arabs, just like the white man, break this down. Give me the next video. Instagram. Pay close attention. Yep, that's it. Put it on the screen. I'll read that, Yuri. Wait. We will be okay. Re stop. Read that, Yuri, at the top. We will not accept your apology after the genocide. That's Christian Arabs. Showing you that they have an understanding of what the Bible is saying, but black Christians have got to be some of the stupidest people on earth. Damn. We're the only race that forgives everything, every race. They spit on our mothers, rape our mothers, kick our daughters and sisters. Oh, let's forgive them. You stupid, effeminate Christian men, especially you. That's right. Let's play on. We will be okay. Despite the Turn immense blow we have endured, we the Palestinians will recover. We will rise. We will stand up again from the midst of destruction, as we have always done as Palestinians. Although this is by far maybe the biggest blow we have received in a long time. But we will be okay. But for those who are complicit, I feel sorry for you. Will you ever recover from this? Your charity and your words of shock after the genocide won't make a difference. And I know these words of shocks are coming. And I know people will give generously for charity. 
but your words won't make a difference. Words of regret won't suffice for you. And let me say it, we will not accept your apology after the genocide. What has been done has been done. I want you to look at the mirror and ask, where was I when Gaza was going through a genocide? Do you hear what the Christian said? He said, we will not forgive you. We will not accept your words of apology, apologies. We will, he said, I know the words of shock will come and the charities will come. And on YouTube, if y'all notice, they got charities now for Gaza. It's all BS. And he knows that. It's black Christians who have are clueless. Oh, look, they care for us. No, they don't. They don't care for us. Alice Dez, give me Ezekiel 35 and 1. You saying both of them, John's family? Uh, oh God, don't make Guy, me vomit on the podium. Uh, uh, forgave Geiger. They didn't. They didn't learn from these people. They didn't learn. Oh, this. Both and John. Y'all know that's the brother. Explain who it is, because some of them don't know. Damn. That's the brother down in Texas who he was. His he was killed by his neighbor, something Geiger, Amber Geiger. And in the courtroom, the family hugged Amber Geiger so ever so gently and caressed her blonde hair and made her feel comfortable by saying. You killed our son. You killed our brother. And the one thing we want you to remember... Put it on the screen. ...is we forgive you. You, you can't make this stuff Damn. up. Arabs don't do that. Whites don't do that. Chinese don't do that. East Indians don't do that. Filipinos don't do that. All these stupid black people do this. Right. You can't make this stuff up. We're the only ones that do this. Oh, just forgive everybody. Hey, remember the judge, a, black, a sister, gave... Amber Geiger, her right. personal the Bible. The stupid black woman yeah, judge right got off the judge stool she, 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 and she, gave him the Bible, gave her the Bible and kissed her and hugged her. Yeah, I'm so mad, Deke. I can't make this stuff up. He was oh, a, a good Christian woman like, right there. Good Christian woman. It's not like he was doing something violent either. The man was eating ice cream on his own damn couch. Right. Yep. Damn. Oh, God. Oh, Christians make me sick. Oh, God. <laughs> Some of you actually believe she made a mistake. Oh. If you think she killed that man by mistake, you're stupid as hell. Right. What the hell is this? I, 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 I know. I, I know. I know. Wait a minute. Oh, my head hurts. I'm bringing it back. Let me bring it back. Bishop, we Look at that! That's the, the damn black woman stroking we, her hair! We forgot the bailiff! Oh, hey, God. right they, now, she's oh, wishing. God. Oh, I wish Lord I had your hair. On, God, they thought I made uh, it up. Lord, hey, forgive me. They caress, hey, I can't help it. They caress her golden retriever hair. Oh, I wish hey, I, I right had now, your she hair. And for made that her hair. feel so comfortable. Oh, I wish I had right that. Right now, she lusted for that hair. She lusted. She said, I wish I could have that in my head. The black Christian will make you stutter. Because you just can't believe the ignorance of these brothers and sisters, man. Lord, 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 help us. I don't, Lord, I don't know what to do, Lord. <laughs> we have become so stupid upon the earth. Help us, Lord. Damn. Lord, I know. Y'all think, I know what you think. God don't feel like that. Somebody. They got the video. They got the video. Oh, you got the video. Put it on the screen. Oh, God. Oh. Run it back. Oh, put there it on the screen. Go. Oh, you can't God. tell me she don't want Amber Geiger's hair on top of her head. Come on, look at that. Shame, Terrible, shame, man. Shame, 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 oh, shame, by the way, shame, by the way, by the way, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, hold on, hold on. Remember, this demon B, she went for appeal. She got the nerve to try to appeal her, her 10 year sentence. Got some damn nerve, man. I'm stewing in my juices now, bro. Oh, you can't make this stuff up. This is what religion done to our people. Yes. We become dumber and dumber, 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 dumber. Dumber and dumber. Now, I know. Damn. They thinking, God don't feel like that. Wait. Wait, I got to find it. Give me Isaiah 65. You don't want Give me Isaiah 6. Hey, we want Ezekiel in a minute, but... I got to show you how God feels about Christians. Isaiah 65 and 2. Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 2. We can start at 1. Verse 1. I am sought of them that ask not for me. Our people never ask for the Lord. Go ahead. I am found of them 
that sought me not. Right, we were in slavery. Go ahead. I say, behold me, behold me unto a nation that was not called by my name. Why were we not called by God's name? We were not called by the name of Israel anymore because we were called African American, African American, Jamaican, Haitian, Guyanese, Puerto Rican, Brazilian. They changed our identity. That's what it means. Uh, unto a nation I was not called by my name. Everybody understand that, right? Read on. I have spread out my hands all the day unto a rebellious people. We are that rebellious people. Go ahead. Which walketh in a way that was not good. Jump down to verse. Go ahead, go ahead. After their own thoughts. Our people walk after their own thoughts. Jump down to verse 5. Here you go. Verse 5. Which say, stand by thyself. Because we try to give them the truth. They say to us, stand by yourself. Go ahead. Come not near to me. Brother, don't give me no flyer. Sister, I don't want to hear what you got you coming with. Go ahead. For I am holier than thou. I'm Holy Ghost filled and water baptized. I am washed in the blood of the Lamb. Read it again, which say. For, excuse me, which say, stand by thyself. Come not near to me. For I am holier than thou. Mm -hmm. These are a smoke in my nose. You know what that means? God can't stand them. Right. Smoke in your nose is when you can't breathe. You can't stand it. Go ahead. A fire that burneth all the day. A fire that burneth all the day. So my anger is God's anger, although I can never be as angry as he is. Right, 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 right. My anger is a little thing. Shoot. Now, where was he at, Yuri? Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 1. Read that, read that. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. Mount Seir. Can we put a, uh, on the screen Mount Seir? Can we show it? Show me uh, Mount Seir. Yes, Mount Seir was the... No, that's not Mount Seir. That's the Kezal Mount. I need y'all to understand the difference. That's the Caucasus Mountains in Russia. Yes, that is Mount Seir. Put it on the screen. Mount Seir was the homeland of Edom in what they call the Middle East today. But guess what? They're not there today. They have scattered, like we read earlier. They scattered in Italy, throughout all the western areas of France, Germany, America. Everybody with me so far? So that's Mount Seir. Read again, Yuri. Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. So God is telling us to prophesy against the white man. Everybody with me so far? Edom, what? give me that, Yuri, real quick. So then, Genesis 36, I think it's verse 8. Because I know some of them are new online. How do you know the white man dwelt in Mount Seir? Genesis chapter 36, verse 8. Thus dwelt Esau in Mount Seir. Esau is Edom. Y'all see that, right? Esau is Edom. Esau dwelt in Mount Seir. <laughs> so we're talking about the Edomites. Let's go back to Ezekiel 35 again. Ezekiel chapter 35 and verse 2. Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. Set your face against the Edomites. Go ahead. And prophesy against it. Prophesy against, against, against it. Go ahead. And say unto it, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. Mm -hmm. I will lay thy cities waste. And thou shalt be desolate. I want you to see what God's prophecy is. I will lay thy cities waste. Put it back on the screen again. The old Mount Seir. The old Mount Seir. Right, put it on the screen. This is the old Mount Seir. I want you to look at the architecture. Is not that the same as the Capitol in Washington, D.C.? Yep. Yep. It's the same architecture. Put it back. The difference is nobody dwells here today. Everybody would understand that. So God's not talking about prophesy against the place where nobody lives. Put the other one on the screen. He's saying prophesy against it. That's the modern day Mount Seir. So read verse four again, Yuri. I will lay thy cities waste and thou shalt be desolate. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord, mm -hmm. because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. What's that word? Perpetual hatred. The word perpetual means forever. I don't care if they are nice to you today. 
There are Edomites that you will work with, you will come across in life, who are somewhat friendly, approachable, friendly, kind, nice. They might be nice or kind for a week, nice or kind for several months, maybe even a year. But there will come a day when in nature, they'll start to feel a certain way about you. We've all seen it. Those of you on certain jobs, they'll come in. Your boss will say, I want you to train Karen or Tommy. And then before you know it, Karen or Tommy got your job. They are over you. We've all gone through it. Yep. Yep. Woo, read it again, verse 5. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. Now that hatred means forever, meaning it doesn't stop. It's an ongoing hatred. Go ahead. And has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword. So what they're doing in Gaza is nothing different than what they've done to us. That's right. Go ahead. In the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Our iniquity had an end when we got emancipated. But did it stop there? Did the hate stop when we got emancipated? Hell no. Oh, no. They came over to Ku Klux Klan, Jim Crow, uh, sharecropping agricultural laws, black codes, the 13th Am Amendment, cognitive dissidents, redlining, all kinds of things. They kept giving new names, new names, but it's the same oppression. You know, therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Why? Since thou hast not hated blood. Since Esau has not hated blood. Even blood shall pursue thee. Even blood shall pursue thee. So God says Esau, that's what we read earlier. They are the evil man. They are the violent man. They are the wicked. There are various names God calls them. It says, since thou has not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Judgment's <laughs> coming for them. Read on. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate. Go ahead. And cut off from it him that passeth out and him that returneth. Mm -hmm. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men. In thy hills and in thy valleys and in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. Come on. I will make thee perpetual desolations and thy cities shall not return. Mm -hmm. And ye shall wait, wait, know. Wait, 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 wait. And thy cities shall not Return, go ahead. And ye shall know that I am the Lord. But why? 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 Next verse. Because thou hast said. Because thou hast said. These two nations. Stop. These two nations. Judah and Israel. Remember, we were divided into two nations. Go ahead. And these two countries. The two countries is, is put Israel on the screen. I gave you the map. So it shouldn't, right. Israel. And give me the other country. The other country now, America. Those are the two countries. Israel and America. Israel and America. Read it again, Yuri, verse 10. Because thou hast said, these two nations. Judah and Israel. And these two countries. Israel and America. Shall be mine. Shall be mine. And we will possess it. And we will invade it. We will take it. Go ahead. Whereas the Lord was there. Whereas the Lord was with us. Meaning what? They took, to put Israel back on the screen. They took Israel and called themselves Jewish people. The word Judah means praise of God. They called themselves the praise of God. The hell is this? Give me, the, uh, give me America. They took America as Christians. They said they are the anointed. Christian means anointed of God. It doesn't mean follower of Christ. I know some books say that. But when you break down the etymology, it means anointed ones. That's how they stole this land, America. Read on. Verse 11. No, that was it. That was it. That was it. So blood's going to pursue them. Now, understand, brother. I need you to understand the scriptures. Because nations, though particularly this white man, has corrupted the truth. Give me 2 Corinthians 2.17. Second Corinthians chapter two, verse 17. For we are not as many. We are not as many. Meaning the Israelites that are rising up in the faith of Christ, keeping the commandments. Go ahead. 
which corrupt the word of God. We are not like the many that corrupt the word of God. Go ahead. But as of sincerity. We teach the Bible in sincerity, brothers and sisters. Go ahead. But as of God. We teach as of God called us. Go ahead. In the sight of God. We teach in the sight of God. Speak we in Christ. We speak in the name of Christ. Everybody understand that? Galatians 1 and 7. So many have corrupted the word of God. That's your church system. Galatians 1 and 7. Galatians chapter 1 verse 7. Which is not another. So. The bi- read the verse above it. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ. Some of you men, some of you women, you get shaken when you go through adversity. So just like you get adversity today, back then it got it too. Read it again. I marvel that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ unto another gospel. Right. What does it mean? What did they do back then? They left and went back to animal sacrifice. There's no animal sacrifice today. So how do we, what's the understanding here? The understanding is many of you leave this truth and go back to Christianity. You go back to being a Negro. I used to be an Israelite. Now I am a born again Christian again. Now I am a Catholic again. Now I am a Protestant. Read it again. I marvel that you are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Christ Unto another gospel. Unto another gospel. Go ahead. Which is not another. It's not another. Why is it not another? Because the same book you we use, they use. It's the same book. The difference is they corrupt the scriptures. Watch as we read down. Go ahead. Which is not another. But there be some that trouble you and would pervert the gospel of Christ. Do you see what they do? They pervert the gospel of Christ. They say, forgive your enemies. Oh, forget about slavery. It's old time. It came around 1619. Well, why do we celebrate Thanksgiving? That came around 1619 too. Forget about that. Don't just celebrate, celebrate. Happy Thanksgiving. Just forget about your slavery. Forgive us. But you go back to that. And you love everybody now. You hug and kiss everybody. Put it on the screen. You become one of these damnable Christians. These, oh God. Give me 1 Corinthians 2. Again. Let's jump. We, went, we read 17, right, Yuri? Yes, sir. Let's jump up to verse 12. 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 12. Mm-hmm. Furthermore, when I came to Troas to preach Christ's gospel, and a door was opened unto me of the Lord. So this is what we always pray, that the Lord opens doors of utterance for us to enter into. Go ahead. I had no rest in my spirit because I found not Titus my brother, but taking my leave of them. Are you in 1 Corinthians 2 and 12? My apologies, I was in 2nd. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say 2nd? I'm sorry. I apologize. No problem, sir. 1 Corinthians 2 and 12? Yes. Yes, sir. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 12. Now, we have received not the spirit of the world. Brothers, sisters, we receive not the spirit of the world. The world teaches us to be stupid. And when I say stupid, I mean following their philosophies. We're not to be taken by the spirit of the world. Go ahead. But... The spirit which is of God. That's the Holy Spirit. Go ahead. That we might know the things that are freely given to us of God. Come on. Which things also we speak. Which things also we speak. Go ahead. Not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth. Meaning what? Economics. Man's wisdom teaches you that economics is the way to salvation. Economics is what black people need for salvation. That's a lie. We've heard that crap before. Now, I'm not saying money's not important. The Bible says money answereth all things. So I'm not n- knocking that. But when you put money over Christ, there's a problem. Read yeah. again. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, Come on. but which the Holy Ghost teacheth. Go ahead. Comparing spiritual things with spiritual. In our teaching, we must compare spiritual things with spiritual, meaning precept upon precept. Here a little and there a little, line upon line. That's what he's saying. Go ahead. That's right. But the natural man receives. The natural man, which is the sinful man. The natural man, which is the sinful man. 
receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. They cannot understand the Bible. Go ahead. For they are foolishness unto him. Brother, you mean to tell me that all we got to do is return as Israelites and keep the commandments and believe in Christ our King? That's it? Yeah, that's it, brother. I don't believe that. I think we need to protest on the streets. I think we need to organize and put our money together. I think we need to go against the white man and get our guns. Come on, read it again. For they are foolishness unto him. Uh -huh. Neither can he know them mm -hmm. because they are spiritually discerned. You got to have the spirit of God to be able to understand his Bible. Everybody That's understand right. That? Read. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. But he that is spiritual judgeth all things. Go ahead. Yet he himself is judged of no man. Meaning if you're keeping the commandments, no man can judge you. And con meaning condemn you. Everybody understand that? Job 11 and 6, please. Job chapter 11 and verse 6. And that he would show thee the secrets of wisdom. We want the Lord to show us the secrets of wisdom. Go ahead. That they are double. That they are double. The Bible has dual meanings. That's why it's a spiritual book. That's why it says spirit must be, it says spirit, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Be why? Because the Bible has dual meanings, double meanings. Read it again. And that he would show thee the secrets of wisdom. Because guess what, brothers and sisters? You can read the Bible like a novel. I implore you, read your four chapters a day. Read it like a novel. That's good. But to understand the spiritual things, you need to learn precept upon precept. You need to learn how to compare spiritual things with spiritual. Read that again. And that he will show thee the secrets of wisdom, that they are double to that which is. Know therefore that God exacted of thee less than thine iniquity deserves. Our iniquity deserves death. Deuteronomy 28, 46, watch this. I'm going to show you a secret that Christians ain't figured out yet. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. Mm -hmm. And they... Shall be wait, wait, wait. The they is what, brothers? Let me hear you. Curses. The curses. Go ahead. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. For how long? Forever. For how long, brothers? Forever. forever. Meaning what? The curses of God is in a rotation. It didn't stop in Assyria. It kept going. It didn't stop in Babylon. It kept going. It didn't stop with uh, the Greeks and the Romans. It didn't start with the Persians and the Medes, Greeks or Romans. It kept going. It didn't stop with Spain or France. It kept going, even here in America. But guess what? It ends when Christ returns. Christians have not figured that out yet. If you talk to Christians, those that think they're studied or astute, they'll say, oh, no, those curses ended with Rome. They're stupid. Don't waste your time talking to them. Here's the precept of Deuteronomy 28, 46, 2nd Ezra 542. Second Ezra, chapter 5, verse 42. And he said unto me, I will liken my judgment unto a ring. I will liken my judgments unto a ring, meaning a serve. It continues. Watch this. Go ahead. Like as there is no slackness of the last. Meaning no slackness, meaning it does not slack. The beginning of God's judgment does not go slow. Go ahead. Even so, there is no swiftness of the first. Meaning there is no swiftness. It does not rush. Read the whole verse again. And he said unto me, I will liken my judgment unto a ring. Like as there is no slackness of the last, even so there is no swiftness of the first. So God's judgments in a steady rotation. Assyria, Babylon, Persia, Media, uh, Greece, uh, Rome. Uh, after that, you had Spain, France. Now we're here in America with NATO. A steady, st steady ring. That's how God's judgments are. So what we read regarding the curses, yes, it applied in Syrian captivity. Yes, it also applied in the Babylonian captivity. Yes, those same thing applied in the Persian Mede captivity. Yes, those same curses apply in the Greek and Roman captivity. Yes, those same curses apply in America. That's right. Does everybody understand that? It don't stop and, and get derailed. It's the same thing. Only a spiritual man, a spiritual woman is going to understand that. That's right. Now, give me the next book.
We read it last week, but I just love it so. Thank, shout out to uh, uh, Captain um, Little Brother, uh, uh, Yadaya. Thank you. Abba. Abba. Yeah, yeah. Read that. The story of civilization, Caesar and Christ will, by Will Durant. Let's go inside. Page 164. 564. Read that. The 12. Meaning what? The 12 apostles. Pulled their material possessions. That's in Acts 2 and Acts 4 where they put their money together. Go ahead. And entrusted Judas with their common funds. Okay, correction. Before that, remember it said Judas carried the bag. Yeah. That's when Christ was walking earth. So correction. Go ahead. And entrusted Judas with their common funds. As they followed Christ in his missionary wandering, they lived on the country, taking their food now and then from the fields they passed and accepting the hospitality of converts and friends. In addition to the 12, Jesus appointed 72 others as disciples and sent two of them to each town that he intended to visit. He bade them carry no purse, nor wallet, nor shoes. Let me tell you, yes, they had spiritual power, but guess what? That same law applies to us. Remember when Peter, when you read the book of Acts, there was a, a man sitting at the gate asking for alms, and Peter told him, what did he say exactly? I, you know I can't quote. Money I don't have. He said, look at me. He said something like, silver and, gold I have none. silver and gold have I none, but such as I have I give unto thee. Stand up and walk in the name of the Lord. What people often do when we travel, the first thing they ask for is what, brothers? Money. So this is another reason Christ said when you go, don't bring don't carry a purse or wallet or extra shoes. He don't mean to have no shoes. Don't carry extra because people will want that from you. People will take that from you. Some, I remember in Haiti when we were teaching, some of the young, young brothers said, oh, y'all didn't got no money for us? No. We didn't go out with money because that's what they want. They reject the word of God, some of them. Go back. Read again that part. He bade them. Carry no purse, nor wallet, nor shoes. Kindly and pious women joined the apostles and disciples, contributed to their support. So women have always been important in this truth. This ain't a man, this ain't a sausage fest. What? Women were always there to support. Go ahead. You. And performed for them those solicitous domestic functions, which are the supreme consolation of male life. Right. The things that men needed, the women provided for it. They were a help meet unto Christ and his disciples. They had to be a help meet today. That's right. Don't get mad, sisters. That's what God made you for. Hey. What you mad for? Hey, Bishop. Maybe some of them want to go on the street with us and get spit on or yeah. punched in the face. <laughs> or or knife or shot. Maybe you want that. Right. Bishop, the hell is this? This this line right there is to the brothers who say, I'm gonna remove my wife from everything. From every office in IUIC. Maybe you should, hey, read that again for the brother. Kindly and pious women joined the apostles and disciples, contributed to their support, and performed for them those solicitous domestic functions, which are the supreme consolation of male life. Hey, give me that Luke. Real quick, we're coming back here, Elisha. I want the Luke, I want Luke, uh, is it chapter 8, where it says the women, about the women that follow Christ. Yes, that one. Is it Luke 8? I can't remember. Healed of evil spirits. The, it said about, it named the women that followed him. Yes, sir. Luke chapter 8 and verse 2. And certain women which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities, Mary called Magdalene, out of whom went seven devils. Go ahead. And Joanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod Stewart. I wanted that because some of the women were married and they continued and supported Christ. Yeah. Read it again, verse 3. And Joanna, the, the wife of Chusa, Herod Stewart, and Susanna, and many others which ministered unto him of their substance. So that's biblical, sisters. That is biblical. We're not changing anything. Okay. So I hope you brothers, if your wife is in the body, working in the body, she should continue. Right. To stop her from that, uh, that's very that's, foolish. That's you might be damage her spirit. Yes. Hey, half the time, that'd be what, att what attracted you to that sister because she was putting in works in the body. So for you to strip her of the joy she has in the Lord, that's, that tells a lot about you. Okay, let's go back. Yuri, where we at? 
Last sentence. Last sentence? Yes, sir. Through that little band, lowly and letterless, Christ sent, the, sent his gospel into the world. Next page. Read that. The revolution he sought was a far deeper one. Christ sought a revolution. We seek a revolution. God seeks a revolution. Come on. The revolution he sought was a far deeper one, without which reforms could only be superficial and transitory. If he could cleanse the human heart of selfish desire, Woo! cruelty, mm. and lust, mm. utopia will come of itself. And all those institutions that rise out of human greed and violence and the consequent need for law, meaning uh, the Mosaic law, go ahead. would disappear. Mm -hmm. Since this would be the profoundest of all revolutions, beside which all others would be mere coup d'etat. And when I say Mosaic law, I'm talking about animal sacrifice. Go ahead. Of class ousting class and exploiting in its turn. Here it come. Christ was in this spiritual sense the greatest revolutionist in History. Do y'all hear that? Christ was the greatest revolutionist in history. Greater than Marcus Garvey, greater than Malcolm X, greater than Martin Luther King. He was the greatest. Woo! That's right. Give me Ezekiel 7. Is it warm up here? Is that me? I'm, I'm on fire. Woo, it's That's warm up right. here. Bring it out. Give me Ezekiel 7. Verse 1, verse one and 2. Yes, sir. Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 1. And I hope y'all taking notes. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Also, thou son of man, thus saith the Lord God unto the land of Israel. Unto who? The land of Israel. So Ezekiel 7 is about the land of Israel. Go ahead. An end, the end, is come upon the four corners of the land. Of the land, the land, the land. Everybody understand that? Ezekiel 7 is talking about the end of the land. Now, read on. I mean, jump down to verse 20. Verse 20. As for the beauty of his ornament. The beauty of God's ornament was the temple on the land, the land, the land. Go ahead. He said it in majesty, but they made the images of their abominations and of their detestable things therein. Mm, that's what the ancients of Israel did. You can read that the very next chapter. It tells you how the ancients worshipped idols secretly, and the women of Israel was worshipping Tammuz, which was Nimrod's son, which, came, which, came, which the Christmas idea stemmed from. Damn. Read that again. As for the beauty of his ornament, he set it in majesty, but they made the images of their abominations and of the detestable things therein. Therefore, have I set it far from them. Come on. And I will give it into the hands of the strangers. Stop. What is the it that he will give into the hand of strangers, brothers? The land. The land. The land. The land. Read it again. And I will give it into the hands of the strangers for a prey. And to the wicked of the earth for a spoil. He would give the land to the wicked of the earth for a spoil. Go ahead. And they shall pollute it. And the wicked, the strangers, shall pollute the land. The land. Watch this. Luke 21, 24. Yeah, you can put the yeah, That's good. That's a good picture right there. That's it right there. Give me Luke 21, 24. Christ said the same thing. Luke chapter 21, verse 24. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of who, brothers? The Gentiles. Christ called them the Gentiles. Ezekiel called them the wicked and strangers. Talking about the same thing. Was that it, Yuri? And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Until the times of the Gentiles' rulership be fulfilled. Let's go back. And verse 21, one more again. Oh, I'm sorry. Ezekiel 36, 5. I'm sorry. Watch this. Pay attention. He's going to put a name on them in Ezekiel 36, verse 5. Ezekiel chapter 36, verse 5. Therefore, thus saith the Lord God, 
Surely in the fire of my jealousy have I spoken against the residue of the heathen. Of the heathen. And against all Idumia. And against all Idumia. All Idumia. That's Idumia. The, the Ashkenazi Idumia and the Edomites. That's them. Read. Which have appointed my land. Ezekiel tells you the name of the group that appointed God's land. Go ahead. Into their possession. Into their possession. Go ahead. With the joy of all their hearts. They are happy to take the land. They are happy to murder other people just to keep the land. Go ahead. With despiteful minds. With despiteful not minds. To cast it out for a prey. To cast it out for a prey, meaning they call their fellow Europeans from Poland. Germany, Czechoslovakia, Uzbekistan, Russia, Italy, Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia. They said, come get some of this land. That's what they do. Let's go back now. Ezekiel 7, 21 again. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 21. And I will give it into the hand of the strangers for a prey and to the wicked of the earth for a spoil. And they shall pollute it. Come on. My face will I turn also from them. And they shall pollute my secret place. Yeah, they the secret place was when they destroyed the temple in the Holy of Holies. Go ahead. For the robbers shall enter into it and defile it. Now it's calling those strangers, which were the wicked, it's calling them, what, what's that word, brothers? Robbers. Daniel eleven fourteen. Yeah. Those Dan are some good pictures. Go ahead, Jerry, I'm sorry. Daniel chapter 11, verse 14. And in those times, there shall many stand up against the king of the south. That's talking about Egypt, king of the south. Also, the robbers of thy people. Y'all see that? Also, the robbers of thy people. That's Esau, Edom. Go ahead. Shall exalt themselves. Exalt themselves as the people of God. Exalt themselves as the Jews. Go ahead. To establish the vision. To establish the vision that they are the Jews. Establish the vision that the land is theirs. Go ahead. But they shall fall. God says they shall fall. Finish it. The Bible prophesies they shall fall. So we ain't making nothing up. Let's go on back, Yuri. Ezekiel 7, 22. Yes, sir. My face will I turn also from them, and they shall pollute my secret place. For the robbers shall enter into it and defile it. Mm -hmm. Make a chain. Make a chain. Wait a minute. Make a chain. What do I mean? Make a chain. Give me Nahum. 3 and 10, Nahum, to explain the chain. Nahum, Nahum. Micah, chapter... Nahum, Nahum. What the hell is going on here? I was trying to find the next book. Nahum, chapter 3. Wait a minute, I'm having problems finding it. Right you know I'm Micah. slow. Page 10. Right after Micah, okay. Nahum, 3 and 10. Oh, go ahead. Yet... Was she carried away? Yet was she carried away to Israelites. She went into captivity. She went where? Into captivity. Come on. Her young children also were dashed in pieces at the top of all the streets. They destroyed our children, killed our children, go ahead. And they cast lots for her honorable men. They bid for us in slavery, go ahead, watch this. And all her great men were bound in chains. In what? In chains. In what? In chains. Let's go on back now. Ezekiel 723. Make a chain. Now we know that means captivity. We would go into captivity. For the land is full of bloody crimes. Wow, for the land of Israel is full of bloody crimes. And the city is full of violence. Now what did we do? Give me Hosea 4 and 1. Watch this. I know you, we liked, I'll say we, I won't say you. We like to think that we were just such good, righteous, and holy people. Upstanding citizens of God. I know we like to think that, but that's a lie. Y'all see how grimy our people is today? As grimy as we are today, we were just as grimy in the past. Damn. Hosea chapter 4, and we're going to read verse 1 and 2. Yes, sir. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Because I know, I know, I know, I know. White man made us the way we are. Really? Well, let's read what God said about us in Hosea chapter 4. Read verse 1 and 2. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. Mm. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. That was us. Because there is no truth. 
Wow, no truth. Nor mercy. Nor mercy. Nor knowledge of God in the land. We didn't give a dag on about the Bible. Go ahead. By swearing. We used to swear all the time. And lying. We used to lie all the time. And killing. We used to kill each other all the time. And stealing. And we used to steal all the time. And committing adultery. Oh, we committed adultery all the time. They break out and blood touches blood. Oh, we couldn't stand one another. Was that it? Yes, sir. Now, look, read it again, Yuri, for me. Hosea chapter 4, verse 1. Mm. Hear the word of the Lord, ye children of Israel. For the Lord hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land, because there is no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. By swearing. We used to swear. And lying. Stop. I want that lying, lying part. I want the lying part because we have a problem here in the body with lying. Uh, Alicia, find me the Instagram. It should be a uh, pretty lady talking. Pretty lady, pretty sister talking. Yep, right there. How about how we have a lying lifestyle? Some of you women, you're going to bear witness to what this sister says. Bring it out. Let's take a listen. True story, y'all. About 10 years ago, I was planning to host a women's conference in Atlanta. And I remember at the time I was following this woman on Instagram who... Like she just oozed fabulosity. Like she was always wearing designer clothes, had the expensive handbags, was always wearing the red bottom shoes, was taking pictures at expensive restaurants. And I was like, I want her to speak at my conference because I want her to inspire women to level up their life. Well, I got a chance to call her and I was explaining my heart for the conference. And she said to me, Nona, I would love to do this, but I just got evicted from my apartment and I'm actually staying with a friend and sleeping on their couch. And I don't know where I'm going to be at by the time of your conference. Y'all, I was shook because that same morning, she posted a picture of herself standing in the middle of the street, holding a Chanel bag, showing off her red bottom shoes while she was sleeping on her friend's couch. And I realized in that moment, that if we're not careful, we will end up comparing our reality to another person's fiction. And this is why I'm killing comparison, because too many of us are feeling like we don't measure up because the measuring. Sisters, I know some of you sisters can bear witness with that. Y'all be looking at these people on Instagram and TikTok thinking they have such fabulous lives. A lot of it is all a lie. Stop the cap. Telling y'all, I don't see brothers do that too much, but I don't see a lot of sisters. Y'all be following these different women. I'm telling you, it's a lot of it is, is a lie. Read it again, Yuri. Bishop, said, Nobody can hear you. Some of these sisters, after they're watching this bishop, they went home and give their husband a hard time. Mm. Why we don't have this? Why we don't own this? So and so got this. So and so got that. Yep. Damn. Read again, Yuri. Hosea chapter four, verse two: By swearing and lying and Killing, 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 killing. Now, I, I found a lot on killing. And there's a lot, of course, with the brothers. But I didn't want to get the brothers. I wanted to show you how women do kill, too. Bring it out. Give me that one. I can't Brandon, hear nothing. I bet you're wondering, how did this woman get a life sentence without possibility of parole Plus an extra seven years. Well, let me tell you. Damn. Nakira is 28 years old and she lives in South Jersey. And she got a life sentence without possibility of parole plus an extra seven years because her two-year-old son wouldn't eat his food. Now, when her two-year-old son wouldn't eat his food, her resolution for him not eating his food was to crush his skull into 74 pieces and then put him in the oven Damn. and cook him. And after cooking him for some time, she took him out, buried a hole in her backyard, put him in a hole, covered the hole, and then called the police and said, my son is missing and a man attacked me and abducted my son. Oh, I could have used lying yeah, for that so too. She's a liar! Well, I'm sorry. Go back, go back a little bit. She's a lie. Go ahead. And then called the police and said, my son is missing and a man attacked me and abducted my son. Yeah, so the police came with bloodhounds. And the bloodhounds did what the bloodhounds do. The bloodhounds 
found her son's remains in her backyard and they charged her with homicide. They'd offered her a plea deal. They said, look, you unalived your son. We get it. This happens every day. No big deal. You unalived your son. We're offering you 30 years if you plead guilty to first degree murder. She was like, mm, nah, I'm going to take it to trial and fight it. Because yes, I unalived my son. Yes, I crushed his skull into 70 poor pieces. Yes, I dismembered him. Yes, I cooked him. Yes, I buried him. But it was unintentional. So she took it to trial on the premise that she did all that. And it was unintentional. So she lost trial. And she was given a life sentence without possibility of parole, plus an extra seven years for the desecration of a corpse. Yeah. So let this be a cautionary tale to you men out there. Please be careful who you have kids with. Wait, wait. Y'all brothers, great. go back to that part. Alicia, you can't skip by that. Play that part again. A life sentence without possibility of parole, plus an extra seven years for the desecration of a corpse. Yeah. So let this be a cautionary tale to you men out there. Please be careful who you have kids with. You got to be careful. You got to be careful. Otherwise, you might end up with a woman like Nakira Griner, who's 28 years old from South Jersey, who got a life sentence without possibility of parole, plus an extra seven years for desecrating the corpse of her two-year-old son because he refused to eat his food. Now... And I want you, wait, wait, put it back on the screen. Put it back on the screen. I want y'all, can y'all, I don't know if you can, Alicia, can you zoom in? You can't, okay. I want y'all to take a look at her. She is an attractive sister. She's not ugly. Has she walked through these doors? You brothers, a lot of you single brothers, y'all would have been all over this like white on rice. Message. And you would have got what you got. Everybody ain't mentally right. That's what we tell you. What we always tell y'all, wait. Let them get their mind right with the word of God. Try them, okay? Find out who her friends are. Find out what the senior sisters say about her. See what her counselor says about her. If she got parents, meet her parents. See what background she comes from. Notice it never mentioned a man with her. She's one of those many women who goes out, has a baby, get pregnant, then all of a sudden, whatever reason, I don't care what the reason is, she's single. Whether or not he's no damn good or she just says, I don't love you no more, I'm, I'm out. But she's mentally broken. because She can't deal with the responsibility of raising a child. But she can go to the club and drop it like it's hot. Ha! Yeah, ha, 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 Brothers, ha, there's ha. a lot of sisters like that. And some of them come and you tell you like suspicious. We tell y'all, let them, let them marinate in the scriptures. You better try them in the spirit. Yeah, real quick too, uh, for some of you single brothers uh, that may see a sister that look like that, or you see a sister in the body, um, don't go whisper in her ear walking past somewhere either. And be like, um, you should have a council of a thousand. You should be sitting by the elder sisters. Don't be telling them to go do that because the only reason they will actually go and do that is because you said something about it. <laughs> you should wait until they, they have the spirit on them to actually want to go and learn from the elder sisters of how to be a wife. Because if they do it just because you said it, as soon as they got your ass and got the uh, ink dried on the paper, wow, they popped the baby out. They plan on cooking that next damn Thanksgiving. Hey. Gotcha, bitch. We found a picture of her husband. Dang. Bishop and I sent a picture of her husband. You sent it? Let's show a picture of her husband. Alicia, did you get it yet? Alicia, did you get it yet? Oh, there you go, right there. Did it, baby daddy, right there. So, in other words, oh. Bishop, in other words, they that sister hates you, black men. Yeah. She hates you, brothers. Damn. Black man yes, can't and do nothing for her. Nasty. So, oh, boy. You know, there's a lot you can say, but I'll keep it to myself. Yuri, where we at, Officer Yuri?
Hosea chapter 4, verse 2. Go ahead. By swearing uh -huh. and lying mm -hmm. and killing uh -huh. and stealing. Oh, and stealing, Elisha. And stealing. Oh, Felicia, find me that clip on stealing. And stealing. Now, some sisters in IUIC were dealing with Edomite men. Hey. Oh, true story. Y'all remember this? I can't, I ain't going to say her name. Remember, the way she got busted, an Edomite man contacted us and said, I've been paying this hoes rent for the past year. Sent all the photos of him and her laying together. Oh, sister, sister, sister. He blew your spot up. The white man. Then she went to court one of you. Oh, God. You can't make, okay. Now, you know what we're going to do? Hey, is Hanukkah over? Yes, Hanukkah passed. Yeah, yeah. So we loved you during Hanukkah. Not that we don't love you now, Deke. <laughs> but we want to talk about the Haitians stealing <laughs> just for a moment. We love, we love you, Deke. But Haitians do steal. <laughs> so I'm going to show you how our people do steal. Play this video. Bishop, said, now watch his you, right, right hand. Watch the guy's right hand. And never forget, this is Levi. Right. This is Levi. <laughs> Listen, there is no proof. Oh, y'all going to see the proof. We got biblical proof. This is biblical proof, guys. Stealing. There's no sound, I believe. He stole something to try and take him to the back. This poor the prince right here. Haiti. Watch his right hand. Watch his right hand. Well, look. It goes down his pants. Watch. Watch what he does. Did y'all see what he did? Play it again. Play it again. Nobody saw what he did. It's 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 hey. Is this like a Haitian custom right here hey. that we see it? Hey, hey, the hell do we just watch? That shirt tells it all. You know they like the old pastels. <laughs> yes. Play it again. Run it back, man. Mud butt. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Hit play, hit play. That's in Miami, Florida, by the way. Bruh, yeah, I would have thought if he was going to do that, he'd rub it on somebody else's face. He put it on his own face. Man, Judah is nasty as hell. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Hey, Bishop, that's scriptural, though. <laughs> that is. That is scriptural. That's in the book of Malachi. But we're going to leave you alone today. We're we going to... Uh, no Where we at, Yuri? Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 2. Go ahead. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery. Officer Alicia, let's look up committing adultery. Watch this. Committing adultery. Brothers, y'all pay close attention. So today, I want to do a loyalty test with y'all. Okay, we don't need to do that. We know we're not cheating. I mean, like, you ain't with nobody. I'm not with nobody else. Yeah, it was Derek, though. Our messages right here about uh, meeting up. Uh... Again, it's just the client that I meet with. Okay. Um, he Why just did Derek be testing you at 3.42 last night? That's in the morning, though. It is, but I have my phone on Do Not Disturb because I'm laying with you, so. You mind if we call Derek real quick? I think he's available right now, so I don't think it'd be a good yeah, idea. Saying, you mind if we call him, though? Why are you so nervous? Oh, I'm not. I'm just saying, you know, I don't think that... Hey! Hey, you know, this is my man. You know that. We're just playing around. Um, he just wants to make sure that we're not, you know, that we're not with each other. That you and I... My girl. Yes, I'm your girl. Oh, damn. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Now, let's, let's, let's talk for real. No, no. Let's, let's, let's get with this for real. The truth of the matter Wait, is that... Wait, stop. If pause it. Pause it. I want you to see how her attitude switch from the lying woman to the take no responsibility. Now I'm going to put you on blast spirit, the adulterous spirit. Go back just a little bit. Go ahead, play. I'm dead serious. I'm dead serious. Now let's, let's, let's talk for real. No, no, let's, let's, let's get with this for real. The truth of the matter is that if I'm him, it's helping his bitch us further. It's helping his take us further. What you going to do? You ain't going to do. 
you're going to stay right with me because you know you want this just like he do. Like everybody. Wait, stop. Nasty, she bitch. calls him out on his simpism. Yeah. Some of you simps, some of these sisters know you are a simp. You ain't going nowhere, nigga. You like this like everybody else want this. That's her mind, some of their mindset. Go back a little bit. God can't use brothers like you. Play on. I'm dead serious. Now let's 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 talk for real. No, no, let's 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 get with this for real. The truth of the matter is that if I'm in here, it's helping us take us further. It's helping us take us further. What you gonna do? You ain't gonna do you gonna stay right with me because you know you want this just like he do, like everybody have me. They wanna be sick. You know what? I can do whatever I want. You still gonna come right back. That's a sip right there, man. Mommy, did you forget? Did you forget? Get out of my house. Did you forget that? Did you forget that we put that mortgage in my name? Wait! Damn. Wait! 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 Oh, you brothers? Oh, brothers! She said, "Did you forget you put the mortgage in my name?" He told her to get the F out of his house. Yeah. She said, oh, you forgot something. Bishop, gotcha, bitch. we got... You forgot the mortgages in her name. Bishop, we got officers in Atlanta with that same situation right now. Damn! Go back a little bit. James. He said he don't want you. He said he don't want you. You don't want me? Did you forget? Did you forget? Get out of my house. Did you forget that we put that mortgage in my name that you financially responsible for? Did you forget about that? At the end of the day, I got the house. I, my name is on all the bank accounts. So you think that you can walk away? Wait, 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 wait. Go back a little bit. What you say about bank accounts? Go back. I, I saw some of my bank accounts. Did you forget that we put that mortgage in my name that you financially responsible for? Did you forget about that? At the end of the day, I got the house. I, my name is on all the bank accounts. So you think that you can... Stop! She said my name is on all the bank accounts. I've been telling you, brothers. Stop putting this woman's name. We've had horror stories in IUIC with some of these slick women that watch online. They come in and wait and look just as pretty for one of you simple sap sucker simps over there and convince you to put her name on all the bank accounts, then she give you the finger and take all you got. Didn't the sister take 30 grand out of her husband's bank account and skip town? Gotcha, bitch. Woo! Now, I'll tell y'all. There's so much I want to say. But uh, you know, uh, I don't know if I should. Bring it out. I don't know. Brothers, all I can say is don't do that. All I can say, I'm going to be nice. Because some sisters are sincere and they're trying, some of them. But you got to wait and see if they're truly sincere. Hmm. Read it again, Yuri. Where we at? Jose what is this? What is that? Okay, uh, go back. Yuri, read it again. Hosea chapter 4, verse 2. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery. They break out and blood touches blood. Alicia, give me blood touches blood. Give me um the video. Yes. Blood touches blood. Pay attention. Turning now to an argument between Turn brothers over Christmas gifts turning deadly in Largo. Police say a 14-year-old and a 15-year-old, they got into an argument. While Christmas shopping with the family on Sunday, authorities say the 14-year-old was jealous over the number of gifts their mother was buying his brother. The family left the store. Then at home, the 14-year-old pointed his gun at his brother. After relatives separated the two, the sheriff says 23-year-old April Baldwin trying to calm down the 14-year-old. He goes over and puts a bullet in her, tears up her insides and kills her. Leaves her dead in the driveway. Wow. Uh, the sheriff says the 15-year-old came over, saw his sister shot, and shot his younger brother in the stomach. The older brother threw his gun in a yard, ran off to a relative where he was later arrested. Tonight, both teens face felony charges, and officials will decide if that 14-year-old will be charged as an adult. So did y'all hear why he shot his sister and brother? Over a Christmas gift. Christmas <laughs> gift. So, we like to say... That what do you want to say? I was going to say, Bishop. You know what's crazy? The young boy is fourteen years old. Why he's in the house with his own family, his brother, his sisters, mom is there, daddy there, and he has a gun on it. He still got a gun on his hip. 
Yeah. How does he not trust his own family with a gun? Uh, um, so he has to like, protect himself from his own family with a gun on his hip with his own family. Yep. This thing is crazy. Christmas is a burden not to be kept. Okay, like it says in Lamentations 2. Uh, Yuri, one more again. Hosea chapter 4, verse 2. By swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. Mm -hmm. From there, from there. Let's go back to Ezekiel. What verse were we at, Yuri? Where were we at? Verse 20. We read verse 23. And we're at verse 24. We're at 24. Okay. All we want is 24 here. I'm going to come back in a minute. Yes, sir. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 24. Wherefore, I will bring the worst of the heathen. Wait, wait. We can't run by that line. What did it call? What did God call them, brothers? The worst, the worst of the heathen. Notice it called them. I'm not looking at it. Let me get it because, you know, it called them strangers. It called them, I'm not looking at it. What did it call them? Robbers. The robbers. What else did it call them? The wicked. The wicked. The wicked. Now it's calling them the worst. Put their picture up. That ain't it. No. I want, no, give me Amalek. No, no. I don't want that fairy tale stuff. Yeah, put them up. God called them the worst of the heathen. Give me some more pictures of them. That's, give me some Amalek. Put some more. There, come on. Come on, brothers. Brother, yes. There we go. God calls them the worst of the heathen. Give me some more. Those are those the hats we were reading about that come from Russia. God calls them the wicked. He called them strangers. He <laughs> called them robbers. And verse 24 again, Yuri. Wherefore, I will bring the worst of the heathen, and, mm. they, and they shall possess their houses. I will also make the pop of the strong to cease, and their holy places to, shall be defiled. So now, so now, a Christian will say, no, this is talking about when Babylon came and took the land of Israel. Yes, that is true. Wait, remember, the judgments of God are like a ring. So now give me uh, Psalms 137, 7 and 8. What, what King David said. Now, David didn't go through captivity, but King David, who was also a prophet, saw visions of our captivity. Psalms 137, all I want is verse 7 and 8, Yuri. Psalms chapter 137, verse 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. The children of who? Edom. Edom. In the day of Jerusalem, uh -huh. who said, race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof. So Edom was with the Babylonians destroying our temple, defiling our land. Yeah. The Edomites assisted Babylon. Can y'all give me some images of Babylon? Give me the ones, those, the ones that I put up that I gave you. I want to say, I didn't draw it, but yes. Put them on the screen. I gave you several. So when Babylon came, the Edomites assisted. Can y'all move to the next ones? The Edomites assisted ancient Babylon. Ancient Babylon were Hamitic. They were Africans. They were Nilotes, pure blood Nilotes. Everybody understand it? Kushites. Everybody understand that? Was that it, Elisha? Those are the only images? Because I hate after class, you go, oh, there were some images you didn't show. There ain't no images I didn't show. Images you didn't show, I gave it to you. So when Babylon burned down the temple, Esau was there with them, assisting Babylon. Now he's staying frozen on this one picture. That was it? So one more time, Yuri, Psalms 137. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof. Mm -hmm. O daughter of Babylon. Now David calls Edom the daughter of what, brothers? The daughter of Babylon. Go ahead. Who ought to be destroyed. Why it says who ought, ought to be mean in the future. Their judgment is to be destroyed. Finish Go ahead. Him. Happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. What did they do to us? Read on. Happy shall he be 
that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stone. Because that's what Edom did to us. So now give me first Ezra 4 and 50. Watch this. Let's see during the time of Babylon who took the land. Let's see if the Cushites took the land. First Ezra chapter 4. Wait, stop going so fast. You know I'm slow and old. Come on. First Ezra chapter 4 and verse 50. This is Zerubbabel talking. And that all the country which they hold should be free without tribute. And that the Edomites should give over the villages of the Jews, which then they held. So even back then, the Edomites always wanted our land. They took it from the time of Babylon. So here during the time of Ezra, which was what captivity, brothers? Persian Mede. Zerubbabel said, give us back our land that the Edomites took. The Edomites always wanted our land. That's another way we know that the people today in our land are Edomites. Everybody with that? Watch this. So then, Yuri, let's go from there. Give me, go back to Ezekiel 7. And give me verse 24 again. Ezekiel chapter 7. Verse 24, wherefore, I will bring the worst of the heathen. Stop. God calls them the worst of the heathen. A Christian may be saying, that's not what Jesus said. Really? Jesus never called them the worst of the heathen. Give me Matthew 24 and verse 15 for the Christian liars out there. Let's see another word Christ called them. Matthew Chapter 24 and verse 15. Here come, here come. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Whoso readeth, let him understand. Christ called them the abomination of desolation. Spoken of by Daniel. Give me Daniel 9, 27. Where did Daniel mention it? There are many names the Bible calls them. The Son of God also, he called them many. Remember Christ said, I come in the volume of the book. <laughs> Daniel 9, 27. Daniel chapter 9, verse 27. Watch this. And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week. Rome. And in the well, midst. Stop. Rome had a covenant with the Israelites for one week. Go ahead. And in the midst of the week. But. In the midst of that week, what happened? He shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease. He stopped the sacrifices that we were giving. Go ahead. And for the overspreading of abominations. And for the overspreading of, what's that word? Abominations. One more time. Abominations. One more time. Abominations. Go ahead. He shall make it desolate. He made the land of Israel desolate. Go ahead. He shall make it desolate even unto the consummation and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. So now back to Matthew 24, 15. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet stand in the holy place. So Christ called the white man Esau Edom the abomination of desolation. Ezekiel called them the worst of the heathen. Give me Micah 2, 1 and 2. Micah, Micah, Micah. Micah, chapter 2 and verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their bed. This white man devises iniquity and he works evil while he sleeps. Go ahead. When the morning is light, they practice it. When the sun comes up, they began to, pra to practice the evil they thought about. Go ahead. Because it is in the power of their hand. They have the technology, brothers. They have the technology. They have the weaponry. That's what it means. Because it is in the power of their hand. Go ahead. And they covered fields. They'll cover fields. And take them by violence. Take them by what? By violence. Didn't Christ said the thief comes not but to steal, to kill, and destroy? Didn't David call them the violent man? Read again. And they covered fields 
and take them by violence. Did it say to take it by voting? By violence. Voting? Violence. Hmm. How did they take Australia? By violence. How did they get South Africa? By violence. How did they get America? By violence. How did they get Canada? By violence. How did they get Europe? By violence. How did they get the land of Israel? By violence. That's what the Bible says. Read it one more time. And they covered fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man and his house, even a man and his heritage. Can y'all give me the, the pictures of the Sun Times, the Sun Times, Chicago Daily Sun Times. This is what happened. 1948. Its name is Israel. U.S. recognizes Jewish state. Next picture. The Palestine Post. State of Israel is born. Mm -hmm. Next picture. They took the land. They took our land. Go ahead. Look how evil these people look. I want y'all you, looking for righteousness from these people. You want to have children with these people? You got to be kidding me. Let's go on back to Ezekiel. Wait, no wait, boy. Ezekiel chapter seven. Yuri, what verse were we at? Verse 25 now. Let's read 24 one more again and get out. Yes, sir. Back together. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 24. Wherefore, I will bring the worst of the heathen, and they shall possess their houses. I will also make the pomp of the strong to cease. The, I will also make the pride of the strong to cease. And their holy places shall be defiled. Watch this. Destruction cometh. So Ezekiel said, destruction cometh. Yes, that happened during the time of Babylon, but it also happened during the time of the Greeks. It also happened during the time of Rome. Read it again. Destruction coming. Guess what, brothers? Even during this time, destruction is coming. Go ahead. And they shall seek peace. Up, they shall seek peace. And there shall be none. There shall be none. Give me Job 18, 12. Destruction is coming to the land of Israel. They shall seek peace, and there shall be no peace. Job chapter. Hey, didn't the sons of thunder, the sons of thunder, do a song about that? That's right. Read that, Job eighteen twelve. Job chapter eighteen verse twelve. His strength shall be hunger bitten. His strength shall be hunger bitten, and destruction shall be ready at his side. Destruction shall be ready at his side. It shall devour the strength of his skin. Uh huh. Even the firstborn of death shall devour his strength. The firstborn of death is Christ. Go ahead. His confidence shall be rooted out. His of confidence his, shall be rooted out. Of his tabernacle. Of his tabernacle, out of his kingdom. And it shall bring him to the king of terrors. Christ is the king of terrors. What verse is that, Yuri? Verse 15. Verse 15, real quick, real quick. Uh, give me Job 21, 30. Job chapter 21, verse 30. That the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. Do y'all hear that? That the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. Go ahead. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. Finish him. Give me our Psalms 35. Verse 8. Psalm chapter 35 and verse 8. Let destruction Come upon him at unawares. Destruction is going to come upon him at unawares. Go ahead. And let his net that he hath hid catch himself. The traps that this white man set for us and other nations, they're going to fall into that own trap. Go ahead. Into that very destruction, let him fall. Into that very destruction, let him fall. First Thessalonians 5 and 3. First Thessalonians chapter five and verse three. For when they shall say peace and safety. When the white man says peace and safety, go ahead. Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child. Sudden destruction is going to come. When they think there's going to be peace on earth, the Lord said, oh, hold on. There's going to be war, destruction and devastation. Let's go to uh, Daniel 8.25. There's a little more on that, Bishop. Okay. And and they, what was the long pause for? Go ahead. And they shall not escape. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Crap. Go to Daniel 8.25. 
Daniel chapter 8, verse 25. And through his policy also, he shall cause craft to prosper and in his through hand. His, through his policies, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hands. He uses his technology. He uses his political devices. Read again. And through his policy also, he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand. Go ahead. And he shall magnify himself in his heart. He magnifies himself in his heart as the Jews, as the people of God. Go ahead. And by peace. And by peace. Shall destroy many. Shall destroy many. He shall also stand up against the prince of princes. Against Christ. But he shall be broken without hand. He shall be broken without hand. What I want y'all to see out of that, it says by peace they shall destroy many. They told the 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 Palestinians, run south, and you'll be safe there. That's you'll be all right. The people of Gaza took their wives and children, newborn babies, and ran south and got bombed to hell. Don't be shocked. Don't be surprised. And never, ever trust your enemies. That's right. Hey, then the yes. white man says, oh, it's Hamas for He using you as a human shield. Right. It's like 500 of Hamas. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, Officer Yuri, let's go back to Ezekiel 7. Ezekiel chapter 7, verse 25. Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priest, and counsel from the ancients. Give me Isaiah 47 and 11. So during the time of Babylon ancient Babylon, people, our people sought a vision from the prophet and the priest, but it was not there. Cause why? Those prophets and priests lied and lied and lied. Read that, Isaiah 47, 11. Isaiah chapter 47, verse 11. Therefore shall evil come upon thee. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth. Evil's going to come upon this white man in our land. Just as it came upon us, it's going to come upon them too. Read it again, Yuri. Therefore shall evil come upon them. Thou shalt not know from whence it riseth. Uh -huh. And mischief shall fall upon thee. Mischief upon mischief. Go ahead. Thou shalt not be able to put it off. They're not going to be able to stop it. Go ahead. And desolation shall come upon thee suddenly, which thou shalt not know. Mm -hmm. Watch this. Watch this. Read. Stand now with thine enchantment. God is telling the wicked. Stand with your witches, your enchantments. Go ahead. And with the multitude of thy sorceries, mm -hmm. wherein thou hast labored from thy youth. Since the white man was young, they always labored and worked with enchantments and sorceries. Go ahead. If so be, thou shalt be able to profit. If so be, thou mayest prevail. Read. Thou art wearied in the multitude of thy counsels. Let now the astrologers, the stargazers, the monthly prognosticators stand up. God is letting us know they work with witches. Go ahead. And save thee from these things that shall come upon thee. Come on. Behold, they shall be as stubble. They're going to get burnt up, not only in America, but in the land of Israel too. Go ahead. The fire shall burn them. Mm -hmm. They shall not deliver themselves from the power of the flame. That's destruction. Go ahead. There shall not be a coal to warm at, nor fire to sit before it. Now... Let's go back to Ezekiel 7. What verse we at? Verse 26 again? Yes, sir. Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priests and counsel from the ancients. And so now what do they have over there? Those Edomites have what? Stargazers, uh, monthly prognosticators, those things, witches and warlocks, sorcerers. Go ahead. Verse 27. The king shall mourn, and the prince shall be clothed with desolation. So you might ask yourself, hey, during the time of Christ, they didn't have a king. We didn't have a king of our people. But when we, remember, think about this. When they said, when Pilate, was it Pilate or Herod? Pilate said, shall we crucify your king? What did the Israelites respond and say? We have no king but Caesar. Damn. We said the white man is our king. So yes, the judgments that we're reading, it happened during the time of Babylon. It happened during the time of Rome. And guess what is going to happen during this time period? Read again. The king shall mourn 
and the prince shall be clothed with desolation, and the hands of the people of the land shall be troubled. I will do unto them after their way, and according to the deserts will I judge them, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Zephaniah 1. Let's go to Zephaniah now. Pay close attention. Zephaniah chapter 1. And let's start at verse 1. Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 1. The word of the Lord which came unto Zephaniah, the son of Cushy. The son of Cushy. Let's look that word up. Cushy. Read that, Elisha. The word Cushy, or Hebrew pronunciation Cushy, colloquial Cushy, is generally used in the Hebrew Bible to refer to a dark-skinned person of African descent. Now we know Zephaniah was not African. He was a Hebrew of the children of Israel. That's, right. That's letting you know he was what, brothers? Black. Read it again. The, the word of the Lord which came unto Zephaniah, the son of Cushi, the son of Gedaliah, the son of Amariah, the son of Hezekiah, in the days of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah. So Zephaniah lived during the time of the kings. He was prophesying events to come. I'm going to say it again. He lived during the time of the kings, okay, before Babylon. He was prophesying of things to come during the time of Babylon, yes. Um, Persia media, yes. Greece, yes. Rome, yes. America, yes. Let's read on. Verse 2, I will utterly consume all things from off the land, saith the Lord. Wait a minute. The land is the land of Israel. I will utterly consume all things from off the land, saith the Lord. That means everything's going to be destroyed in the land of Israel. That has not happened yet. Let's read on. I will consume man and beast. Mm -hmm. I will consume the fowls of the heaven and the fishes of the sea and the stumbling blocks with the wicked. Mm -hmm. And I will cut off man from off the land, saith the Lord. Mm -hmm. I so, will destruction came during the time of Babylon, but man was not consumed off the land. During the time of Persian media, man was not consumed from off the land. Okay? Uh, remember, during the time of Babylon, they kept the poor in the land. The poorest of the people stayed in the land. During the time of Gre the Greeks and the Romans. Hmm. Letting you know that, remember it said, Job 11 and 6, we read it earlier, that we might know wisdom that they are what? Double to that which is great. Let's read on. Verse 4. I will also stretch out my hand upon Judah and upon all the inhabitants of Jerusalem. You might say, hey, wait a minute. Judah's not in the land today. What y'all talking about? Put on the screen. Who told you our people are not in Jerusalem today? Did you go with me? We were in Jerusalem. Our people are there. Give me the next image. I don't know what y'all talking about. Our people are in Jerusalem. That's right. That's right. There's m many articles on it. Give me the next picture. We're not there ruling. Oh, I thought this article was funny. Can you blow it up big? Almost forgot about this article. I want to see the top. Who wrote it? Okay, read this, Yuri. The Times of Israel. Who are the black Hebrews, the group linked to Jersey City Shooter? Now, the reason I thought this was strange, because I thought they only said that us here in, in America did that. We're linked to it. We're, right, we're linked to the Jersey shooting. They linked the Jersey shooting all the way to our people in the land of Israel. Huh? You can't make this stuff up. When this white man lies, he will lie. That's why God calls them the what of the heathen? The worst of the heathen. Read that. Well, go. Some of them haven't been to Jersey since 1960. Exactly. Or 64, rather. Exactly. Read that, Yuri. Community claims to be descended from the biblical Israelites and practice certain Jewish rituals. Southern Poverty Law Center classifies some as a hate group. Uh, see that? Raise it up. That's how, that's how people in Demona, Israel, read it. Raise it up. Raise it up and read that. Black Hebrews from Demona, seen celebrating the giving of the harvest on Shabbat. Now, we've met our brothers and sisters in Demona. When I tell you they are passive, they are passive. Not only physically, I mean, stick and fight, I ain't talking about that. 
When it comes to teaching the Bible, they are passive. Those are Palestinians. Take that off. That's Palestinians. Those are Afro-Palestinians, but that's our people too. I'm talking about this group. Uh, if you can find the people of, uh, you can find some images of ben people and Demona. <clears throat> they are spiritually passive. They are fearfully passive. Damn. They are shockingly passive. We were like, what the hell is going on here? The hell is this? There were meetings of the Ethiopian blacks, better Israel, went to migrant Israelites that came from Sudan and various other places. They were all, they had a huge meeting. We wanted to go. We didn't have a car though. We needed our brothers in Demona to help us get there. They refused. They said, no. When, oh, you were there too, Ari. Ari. They wouldn't, mm -mm, they said, no. We wanted to, right? Say it again. They didn't return our calls, no nothing. They just went ghosts for the entire day. You don't find that suspicious. Exactly. So when we say they're passive, they have no threat to nobody. Yep. So we was, I'm shocked when I'm reading the article. I'm like, they're linked to a the Jersey shooting. Are you for real? Those guys? The hell is this? No, 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 no. no. Put on the screen. Those are the women. You ain't got no brothers? He in the back. Oh, one, one brother in the back. Can you find some men, bro? Please, come on, bro. Nobody finds women threatening. They put women on the screen. And if you notice, you see TikTok videos, Instagram videos with our sisters in Demona in their um, IDF military uniform talking crap about, oh, yeah, we killing Palestine. The same way they, they played the video of the Israeli girls talking mess about the Palestinians, some of our sisters are over there doing the same thing. Yes. Uh, and I'll speak on that. Just blow, put it on the screen. What you had. When they put our people in the IDF, they make, if they don't say what they want them to say, they get kicked out the land. That's the stipulation. That's why I'm shocked that our people want to live there. They get kicked out the land. That's the old picture, but go ahead, put it up. That's very old. I don't know if y'all don't have any recent ones. Was that 2006? No, I don't know when that one was. I'll go back to the article since y'all can't find any recent pictures. Go back to the article. Article. Yes. Let's read the um, statement. <clears throat> Watch how evil these white people are. Read that. Police have identified one of the dead suspects in a shootout at a kosher market in Jersey City as David Anderson who reportedly was once a member of the black Hebrew Israelites. That's a lie. It's a lie. It's a this? lie. How do I know it's a lie? Guess what? The FBI did pay a visit to me. I happen to know some of the officers on that case. So they said, hey, Israel, we heard you're one of these Israelites. I said, I'm an Israelite. Come on by. Hey, Chuck, come on by. We ain't got nothing to hide. Hey, we heard that there's a, we know that there's a shooting that are now, and our, 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 uh, uh, they didn't say bosses, our lieutenants, whatever, forgot the word, I got it on video, superior, I got it all on video. When people come in my house, everything's videotaped. Right. Everything. Right. So in case the ADL wants to say that I'm a liar, I will show the video and put them on blast. I'm waiting, right. Jonathan Greenblatt, I'm waiting for you, you lying son of, right. you know, you know what I mean? Anyway, I said, let me see the photos if you don't mind. The photos, not only did they have no fringes, they didn't even have uh, yarmulkes on. They were dressed like Muslims, though. I said, wait a minute, these are Muslims. And they go, yeah, that's what we thought, too. But our bosses wanted, I'm like, the man and a woman, these are Muslims. Where was it at Jersey City? I said, that community, is it an Israelite community? No. What kind of community is Muslim? I said, come on, man. What the hell are y'all talking about? What the hell is this? All right, Harry, time to go, time to go, time to go. What the hell is this? So, go back to the images. You can put it on the screen. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. That's a more recent one of our passive brothers and sisters. We love y'all. We do love y'all. Give me, go back to the images I gave you. The, now, the Ethiopian bed of Israel is more, more rough than our people from Demona. Give me the next image. This is all in Jerusalem now, all in the land of Israel. 
Next image. That was it? Okay. Let's go back to Zephaniah, where Zep- we were at. Yes, what sir. verse were we at? Verse 4, sir. Ze- Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 4. I will also stretch out my hand upon Judah and upon all the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and I will cut off the remnant of Baal from this place in the name of the Chimurims with the priests. Now that word Chimurims, as I was doing my four chapters a day, I said, hmm, what is this word Chimurims? So I had to look it up. Put it on the screen. Read that. Chimurim, those who go about in black. Mm. Damn. Mm. Go ahead. In ascetics, in the Hebrew, applied to the priests of the worship of false gods. So now I had another dictionary. I said, I got to look into this just a little more. Give me the next dictionary page. Zoom in. All I want is the highlighted areas just to get to the point. Read the top. Chimurim. Jump down. In Neo-Hebrew, designates a Catholic priest and monk. Designates a Catholic priest or monk. Go ahead. Kimmy, a monk. Wait, you started usually. I want to start there. Yes, sir. Usually, it is associated with the verb kamar, to be black. Mm -hmm. Kimmy, among others, is of this opinion and derives the meaning priest from the circumstance that the priests wore black garments. So I'm sitting there, and I'm like, not only do the Catholic priests wear black, who else wears black? Give me the images. Give me the images, Alesha! You killing the moment. Look at this. They wear black. They are come around too. Read it again. And show the images as he's reading it. I will cut off the remnant of Baal from this place and the name of the Chimurims with the priests. With the priests. With the priests. Keep playing, keep showing the images. Now you get to the Catholic priests. Y'all see him in the back? Go ahead. Give me some more. They all got black on back there. Come on, give me some more. They all got black on. It's talking about them. These so-called Jewish people and Catholic priests. Now, wait a minute. Let's go back to the dictionary. Stop. Go back to the dictionary. There's another part at the bottom of this. So it said the priests wore black garments. Raise raise it up. There's more. Watch this. There's more in the Chimurans. I want you to see this part right here. Read this. The old Semitic idols were without exception worshipped by intemperate sexual excesses. The hot, exciting man was the priest. So these priests were hot, exciting men. So I was kind of confused. So I saw the video. I said, let me look at the video. Give me the video. When these guys pray, play, play, play the video. Do y'all see what they do? It's called davening. Oh, wow. They make sexual thrusts with their hips. Hot, exciting men. Gay. This is what they do. Humping sensations. You can't make this stuff up, brothers and sisters. That's the Chemarams. What are you going to say? If not them, then who? Right. If not them, then who? Damn. Who's in the land of Israel wearing all black? That's hot and exciting when they pray. That's them humping the wall. Y'all get mad at me if you want online. I know some of y'all mad, but I'm telling you the truth and nothing but the whole truth. So help me God. Back to Zephaniah. Read again. Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 4. I will also stretch out my hand upon Judah and upon the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and I will cut off the remnant of Baal from this place in the name of the Chemarims with the priests Mm. and them that worship the host of heaven upon the housetops and them that worship and that swear by the Lord and that swear by Malcham. So I didn't know in Malcham. I looked that one up. Give me Malcham. Malcham. Read that. Malcham was a reference to Molech who was the god of pleasure. The god of pleasure. 
They be dominant. Put me on the screen. They be dominant when they praying. Talking about, oh, put me on the screen. Nobody can see what I'm doing. I'm talking crazy. Put me picture in. They be on there, the hard diving. What the hell is going on here? They got one pump, two pumps, three pumps. Four. The hell is this? And they be grinding. Ah! You can't make this stuff up. Who prays like that? The hell is this? Molech is the god of pleasure. You nasty son of a. <laughs> Where we at, Yuri? Verse 6. Mm -hmm. And them that are turned back from the Lord. Oh, that's now this is our people. And them that turn back from the Lord, go ahead. And those that have not sought the Lord nor inquired for him. Put it on the screen. Put it on the screen. Now you might ask, how have they turned back from the Lord? They're not following what the Bible says. They're following our people from Beta Israel, our people, the migrants. They are following the Talmud with these yarmulkes on, with the Israeli flag. They are not following the Hebrew text. Give me the next picture. This is that one in the red. That was um, Ben-Ami. He has died. Okay. And I met Ben-Ami before he passed away. There's a lot I can tell you, but I'm going to save it for another day. Give me the next picture. This is them. Oh, right there, the brother in the blue and the, with the, on the right, the glasses. Light skin. That's the brother that's over, over Israel today. Right, the brother with nothing on his head, right there. That's who we met. He's the leader of our people in Demona. When I say passive, I mean, you see how he make you like you David and Goliath. This guy is passive. He won't kill a bug. He took us, remember, he dropped us off at the Wailing Roar yes. and ran. Yes. He got the hell out of Dodge. He wanted no smoke, nothing. He didn't want no parts of camp either. Right, in camp, <laughs> he was gone. When I say passive, I say, oh, what the hell is wrong with these guys? Yep. Ben on me, I can say, was more, a little more aggressive. He confronted uh, Ariel Sharon and them. This guy, this brother now, he will not confront Netanyahu no, at all. Mm -mm. Damn. Not at all. And I love the brother. I'm not saying this out of hate or spite. I'm just letting y'all know. In case some of you women, you know the single women, I want to go to Israel and you've ever, go ahead, have fun. You're going to be second wife, number, third wife, fourth wife. That ain't and when work. they finish with you, you get kicked to the curb. Remember we went, who? it was me, you, yeah, Ariel, you, you was there? I forgot you was with us. They were like, y'all want her? She oh, give, she been married and divorced two, three times. They said, you can have her. We were like, what the hell's going on? Yeah. Hell no. We said, we didn't come here for that. Ruvain was with us from Arizona. Ruvain was with us, yeah. They said, you can have this sister. She's free now. That's we were like, where's her husband? Oh, he didn't want her no more. We were like, what the hell is going on here? Huh? You women were passed around, are passed around like Skittles. Yeah. So go on, move over there if you want. Have fun. Nobody can hear you. Didn't you say you get beat in the basement? Oh, yes. For tell infractions? Them, tell them about the like basement. That. They call us a call. Are you kidding me? Yes. If you, from this, and this is from their own uh, mouths. If, if there's something committed that they disagree with, all we saw was the door. Right. It was like the door of no return. <laughs> we just saw this dark, dismal pathway. We're like, well, what's this? They took the deep breath. They said, that's the place where they beat you with sticks if there's something that they disagree with you doing. It's like a, it's like a punishment chamber. Mm -hmm. might, so Might be some damn. leather mask and zip right. the mouths down there. So you see know. how so many sisters be Good. committing adultery or fornication? Y'all yes. would get beat yes. by them. Yes. We don't beat you. All we can say is get out. Yes. But if you choose to go over there, and continue with your adulterous lying way. Go ahead, sister. Expect an ass whooping. Expect an ass whooping like you never got. Because you're going to get it. Whoop! Jesus! They don't believe in Jesus. There ain't no Jesus here. Pow, 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 pow. <laughs> Pow,
You're going to have some sore booty meat. Exactly. Shut your black ass lips. Hey, wasn't Ruvain who said his father got yeah, beat? Yeah, yeah. Ruvain from uh, Arizona told us his daddy got whooped down there. He said he had to get the hell out of there. He with us now. Oh, praise it to the Lord. I said, I don't know how you can go through with that stuff. Whoa, an ass whooping. And uh, literally, and they call us a cult. We ain't no cult. Yeah. You 40 years old getting your ass, but you're behind whooped out there. What the hell is this? Tied down like a gimp. Remember, uh, what is that movie by Quentin Tarantino? Um, Pulp Fiction. Pulp Fiction, where Vin Grant got tied up in the basement, had that red ball in his mouth, butt naked. Hey, if y'all can find a picture of that, find it. Ving Rames. Yeah. Just show me your image. Don't put the video up. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. The third one. I want the... Yeah. Come on, where's the ball in his mouth? Come on, brother. That's how you doing this where you got the red ball in your mouth. <laughs> Bent over. Screen. He played with Bruce Willis. They was tied up in the basement with a ball in their mouth. Hey, I don't know if there's one with him with no clothes on. But you can show his back. Is there one with, with his shirt off? Because they whooped the hell out, but then more than that. It wasn't a whooping, you're right. Anyway, where we at you before I get lost in... in... Zephaniah, chapter 1 and verse 6. <laughs> Go ahead. And then Wait, the... did we finish the pictures? Did we finish the pictures of Demona? Put it on the screen. So, put it on the screen. So when we tell you our people are in Jerusalem, we are, we're serious. They are there. Okay, this is Beta Israel. They follow the Talmud. They follow, they also have an Ethiopian Bible also, some of them. So we definitely, we tried to reach them. We have IUIC Diaspora. We're trying to reach them. Okay. Shout out to Captain Joel, Captain Gedaliah, and you brothers, Captain Joel. You die. Are you helping them now? Captain Get, uh, Abba is helping them. <laughs> We are trying our best, and we're reaching our people. That's right. So, Officer Yuri, where are we at again? I'm sorry. Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 6. In wait, 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 wait. Oh, but hey, give, send it to Yuri. Not Yuri. Send it to Alicia, Zeph. Hold on. Wait a minute. See, we came with receipts. Thank you. Bring it out. Hey, Yuri. I mean, Alicia, I'm sorry. Did Captain Zeph send you the picture? All right, I'll send it. You got it now. Okay, put it on the screen. This was us in Israel. I forgot Zephaniah was there. Uh, uh, Officer Jerahan was there. Alaba, Deacon Isaac, Hananiah. Oh, there you are. There you are right there, cat. <laughs> so when we said we was in the land, we were there. So we ain't bearing false witness. We were there. We got receipts. That's right. Now, in the documentary, there were some things we did not put. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Where were we at, Officer Yuri? I'm sorry. Zephaniah chapter 1 and verse 6. Verse 6. And them that are turned back from the Lord, and those that have not sought the Lord. So verse 6 is going into our people. Read it again. I'm sorry. And them that are turned back from the Lord, and those that have not sought the Lord, nor inquired for him. Nor inquired for him. For him. Go ahead. Hold thy peace at the presence of the Lord God. Now, notice this. This is why I'm saying, like we read earlier, how the scriptures are double to that is which is written. The average Christian will read this and say, this is only talking about ancient Babylon coming against Israel. Look at verse 7. Hold thy peace at the presence of the Lord God. For the day of the Lord is at hand. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I want y'all to look at the wording. That was not the day of the Lord when Nebuchadnezzar came. The Lord Christ did not come when Babylon came. Read it again, verse 7. Look at the wording. Hold thy peace at the presence of the Lord God, for the day of the Lord is at hand. For the Lord had prepared a sacrifice. He had bid his guests. So now I want you to highlight a sacrifice he had bid his guests. That's written in Isaiah 34. Let's get that. Isaiah 34, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going to show y'all something. I'm going to show y'all something. Uh, let's start up around. Is it verse 6 I want? You shooting from the hips? I do that too. 5 or 6, sir. 
Isaiah 34. Let's start at verse 5. Yes, sir. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 5. Now, remember, we're discussing when it says, uh, in Zephaniah 1 and 7, it said, The Lord has prepared a sacrifice. He has bid his guests. That's what we're looking for. Isaiah 34, verse 5. Isaiah chapter 34, verse 5. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumea and upon the people of my curse. Who's Idumea, brothers? Edom, the so-called white man. Watch this. Go ahead. And upon the people of my curse to judgment. Come on. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness mm. and with the blood of lambs and goats, mm -hmm. with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord has a sacrifice. A what? A sacrifice uh -huh. in Basra. In, wait, wait, wait. In Basra. Can you put Basra up on the screen? Basra is right there in the land of Israel. Y'all see that right there? Zoom in. I know some of our people got bad eyesight. Y'all see Israel? You see Bozra right there. Read that again. Verse 6. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat, fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats, with the fat of kidneys of rams. For the Lord had a sacrifice in Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. Mm, come on. And the unicorn shall come down with them and the bullocks with the bulls and their land shall be soaked with blood mm -hmm. and their dust made fat with fatness. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance in the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. So now you might ask, let's, I, I should have started at verse 1. Start at verse 1. Come near, ye nations. Come near, ye nations. Go ahead. To hear mm -hmm. and hearken, ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein. I want y'all to underline, put in your notes even, nations, the nations, ye nations. So now when we read verse 6, watch this. The sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats. What is he calling the nations in verse 6? The blood of lambs and of goats. Go ahead. With the fat of the kidneys of rams. Rams. He's for, talking about the nations. Go ahead. For the Lord hath a sacrifice in Basra uh -huh. and a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. So these are all symbolizing the people of Idumea. Read on. And the unicorns. The unicorns are the rhinoceros. He's calling. That's another name for what? The nations. Go ahead. Shall come down with them. Uh -huh. And the bullocks. Now he calls them bullocks. Go with, ahead. With the bulls. With the bulls. And their land shall be soaked with blood. And the land shall be soaked with blood. And their dust made fat with fatness. Why? For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance. He's going to get vengeance on all the nations. Go ahead. In the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. So what I want you all to see. In Isaiah 34, God is calling the nations other names. He's called Idumia. Then he gives them animal names for a sacrifice. Let's go on back now. Let's go on back. Now, what verse we at, Yuri? Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 7. Hold thy wait, peace. Wait, 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 wait. Go ahead, God, I'm sorry. Hold thy peace at the presence wait, of the... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah, verse 7. I'm sorry. Hold thy peace at the presence of the Lord God, for the day of the Lord is at hand. For the Lord hath prepared a sacrifice. He hath bid his guests. He hath bid his guests. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. Now, brothers, now we can understand. We often use this for when sisters wear pants on, which is fine. However, now we know what is really talk. Put it back on the screen. Give me Idumia, what it's talking about. Give me Kimaram. Give me Kimaram with the priests. I need y'all to stay with us. Come on, give me the other ones. Now we know what it's talking about in its actual context. Give me I do. Come on, y'all. Yes, this is what is going. Here we go. This is actually the strange apparel. Okay. Oh, praises. That's right. Now, I'm not saying we can't use that for these women. Right, 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 right. We're still going to use that for these women. That's it. That's but now right. we know we can use it for the white man, too. 
<laughs> Officer Yuri, where we at? Verse 8. Read it again. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clothed with strange apparel. Mm -hmm. In right. the same day also will I punish all those that leap on the threshold which fill their master's houses with violence so and So now deceit. the master's, the master's houses. Give me Matthew 15, 27. Who are the masters that fill their master's houses with, what was that word? Violence. Matthew 15, 27. Matthew chapter 15, verse 27. And she said, truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. So who are the masters, brothers? The Israelites. So give me uh, uh, Matthew 11 and 12. Matthew chapter 11 and verse 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffereth violence. See that? The kingdom of heaven suffereth violence. He's talking about the Israelites. Nobody was jumping up into the skies in heaven and fighting with the Father. He ain't talking about that. Read it again. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, uh -huh. the kingdom of heaven, the Israelites, suffereth violence. Go ahead. And the violent take it by force. Who took the land of Israel, brothers? Amalek. Right. Rome. Amalek, the white man. If we all on the same page, let's go on back to Zephaniah 1 and 9. Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 9. In the same day also, Will I punish all those that leap on the threshold, which fill their master's house with violence and deceit? So all those that jump on our lands, our threshold, our houses, okay, with violence and deceit is the white man. Read on. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, that there shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gate mm -hmm. and then howling from the second and a great crashing from the hills. Uh -huh. How ye inhabitants of Maktesh. How ye inhabitants of Maktesh. Put that on the screen, Maktesh. Read that, Yuri. Maktesh, the mortar. A quarter of Jerusalem so named, it is supposed on account of the configuration of the ground and associated with the fish gate. So now, Maktesh means the mortar. When you have mortar, you're mixing, I'm not a carpenter or whatever, sand, cement, and water. You're mixing it together. There's a mix of people there in the land. Everybody with me so far? Let's go back to verse 11. How ye inhabitants of Maktesh, for all the merchant people are cut down. Mm -hmm. All they that bear silver are cut off. There's a lot of businesses going on in the land. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass. Remember we were in Jerusalem. We went through Jerusalem. Uh, yes. I forgot what they called it. Help me. It was it was the four quarters. So we walked through past the four quarters and it was nothing but vendors selling. Right. That's all it was. Exactly. Read that again. Verse 11. How ye inhabitants of Maktesh, for all the merchant people are cut down. All they that bear silver are cut off. Read. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles. I will search Jerusalem with candles. Remember, Jerusalem is the people first and foremost. So our people there, and guess what? Our people here. He's going, God is searching us, searching our hearts. Read again. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their leaves mm -hmm. that say in their heart, the Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. Some of our people here and there have the mentality, the Lord ain't going to do nothing. He's just sitting back, relaxed, and he's not going to do anything. Read. Therefore, their goods shall become a booty. See that? Therefore, their goods shall become a booty. Go ahead. And their houses a desolation. Mm. They shall also build houses, but not inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof. Now, I know what you're thinking. But that happened in the past in Deuteronomy 20. Read Deuteronomy 28, 30. Watch this. Deuteronomy 28, 30. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 30. Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Okay. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt plant a vineyard, and shalt not gather the grapes thereof. Mm. 
Now, go back to Zephaniah 1, 13, that we just read. Therefore, their goods shall become a booty, and their houses a desolation. They shall also build houses, but not inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof. Now, you might think it ended there, but no. Give me 2nd Ezra 16. We're going to read 40 to 47. Prophetic for every captivity, including this one. Second Ezra chapter 16 and verse 40. Oh, my people, hear my word. Make you ready to the battle. Even in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Brothers, sisters, be as pilgrims on the earth. But the main part, it says make you ready for the battle. Read. He that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away. Mm -hmm. And he that buyeth, as one that will lose. Mm -hmm. He that occupieth merchandise, as he that hath no profit by it. And he that buildeth, as he that shall not dwell therein. Mm. Stop. He Jump over to get to the point. Verse 70. Verse 70. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Read. They shall be like madmen, sparing none. But still, spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. That's going to come upon us soon. Go ahead. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Y'all see this, what we're reading. Go ahead. Then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. What I want y'all to see, we're going to be cast. Some of us will be cast out of our houses. It says they shall waste and take away their goods. Now, you might ask how. We just started at the beginning of the lesson. I showed you T-Mobile and all of the yeah, carriers. carriers. Yep. They're implementing certain fines for the type of speech you carry. This is how we're going to begin to lose what we have. I'm telling you, all I could do is warn y'all. Go back to Zephaniah 113 again. Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 13. Therefore their goods shall become a booty. And their house is a desolation. They shall also build houses, but not inhabit them. Mm -hmm. And they shall plant vineyards, but not drink the wine thereof. So just as it happened in the past during the time of Babylon, it happened in every captivity, even to today. It's going to happen. Read. Verse 14. The great day of the Lord is near. See, it's the great day of the Lord is near. Go ahead. It is near. It is near, brothers and sisters. Go ahead. And hasteth greatly. Go ahead. Even the voice of the day of the Lord. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. Uh-oh. Go that, ahead. That day is a day of wrath. This has not happened yet. That's why I'm showing you these things are prophetic. Yes, many of the things occurred in the past, but some of them are prophetic as you keep reading, as we're reading. They have not occurred yet. Go ahead. That day, that day is a day of wrath. Put it on the screen. Y'all can put them on the screen. Go ahead. A day of trouble and distress. Uh -huh. A day of wasteness and desolation. Mm. A day of darkness and gloominess. A day of clouds and thick darkness. Mm. So right there, right there, right there. Read. A day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities. And against the high towers. So back in the day, you know, a trumpet represented what? A warning of danger is coming. That's what the trumpet represented. Give me Isaiah 58 and 1. Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. Like a what? Like a trumpet. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. That's to you teachers out there. Was that it, Yuri? And show my people their transgressions. Show the Israelites their transgressions. In the house of Jacob, their sins. In the house of Jacob, their sins. Let's go back. Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 16. A day of the trumpet, an alarm against the fenced cities. And against the high towers. So now, the teachers, you teachers, give me the dictionary, please. I want the dictionary. Nope, that's not a dictionary. Biblical and theology. Right there. Put it on the screen. Read that. 
A biblical and theological dictionary. What year was this printed? 1857. 1857. Let's go into the first highlighted section. So in 1857, this is what the scholars wrote about the Israelites. Where were we in 1857? Slavery. Slavery. Read this. This is about the Israelites. Some of them opened schools or houses of instruction. Some of the Israelites opened schools. So what we're doing now, our forefathers did it in the past. Read it again. Some of them opened schools or houses of instruction. Come on. And there, to their disciples, they taught the pure religion of Moses. We're teaching you the laws, statutes, commandments. Go ahead. At Naoth, in the suburbs of Ramah, there was one where some Samuel dwelt, and there was one at Jericho, and a third at Bethel, to which Elijah and Elisha often resorted. Thither, that's the how Elijah knew Elisha, from the schools of learning. Go ahead. That's why he was able to walk up to Elisha and say, follow me. Go ahead. Thither, the people went on Sabbath days and at new moon. That's what we call y'all in here. Hey. To the state. So this ain't nothing new. Hey. Some of y'all think we made this up. People online going, you niggas made this, so we didn't make it up. Oh. Go ahead. And receive public lessons of piety and morality. We try to teach you brothers and sisters right. We try. Go ahead. 1 Samuel 29, 18, 2 Kings 2, 2, 5, and 4, 2, and 3. Through all this period, however, there was a dismal confusion of the useful ordinance of public preaching. So there was a confusion of useful ordinance of public preaching. Raise it up. Read and, that. And at other seasons, again, itinerants, both princes, priests, and Levites were sent through all the country to carry the book of the law and to teach in the cities. So that's what we tell you, brothers. Get ready. Prepare yourselves. As it was in the past, it is today. Your job is to be sent throughout the cities into various countries and teach. Read that. Many of the discourses were preached in camps. In what? In camps. I thought camps was an evil thing. There are people online that say camps are evil. That's biblical. What are y'all talking about? Read again. <laughs> Many of the discourses were preached in camps and courts, in streets, schools, cities, villages, sometimes with great composure and coolness. Some brothers teach with great composure and coolness. Go ahead. At other times, with vehement action and rapturous energy. So in other times, with vehement action and rapturous energy. Get some life in you, brothers, when you teach. Save them with fear. Go ahead. That's right. Sometimes in a plain, blunt style. Right. Now, we, those are three different types of teaching. We all got to learn to teach. We're all saying the same thing. But there's three different styles, different styles. Go ahead. At other times, in all the magnificent pop of Eastern allegory, mm -hmm. on some occasions, the preachers appeared in public with visible signs. Do we carry signs when we go to camp? Yes, yes, we right. carry signs when we go to camp. We didn't make this up. This was written in the 1800s. Yep. Go ahead. With implements of war, uh -huh. with yokes of slavery, mm. or something adapted to their subject. That's right. They gave lectures on these, held them up to view. Held the signs up to view. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Girded them on, uh -huh. broke them in pieces, uh -huh. rent their garments, rolled in the dust, and endeavored by all... Give me the next one. Raise it up. By all the methods they could devise agreeably to the customs of their country to impress the minds of their auditors with the nature and importance of their doctrine. So we ain't making nothing uh, up. That's right. Hey, Bishop, that from reading that right there, it sounded like every time the prophets went out there and taught, they taught like that might be their last time ever right. to teach their people. That's right. They didn't hold back at all. They wasn't scared at all. They didn't hold back. It's the same way we got to be because in these last days, we never know. It may be our last time. Yeah. And if it is our last time, we're going to make it memorable. So, uh, memorable so when we get before the Lord, he's going to say, job well done, sir. There you go. There Your you ass go. rolled That's on the right. ground. That's, <laughs> That's what right. we got to do, brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Officer, you give me Jeremiah 50 and verse 45. Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 45. 
Therefore, hear ye the counsel of the Lord that he hath taken against Babylon and his purposes that he hath purposed against the land of the Chaldeans. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. The least of the flock, brothers, is Israel, the land of Israel. That is the least of the flock. When you look at all the Edomite countries, Israel is one of the smallest. Okay, read it again. Therefore, hear ye the counsel of the Lord that he hath taken against Babylon and his purposes that he hath purposed against the land of the Chaldeans. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely he shall make their habitation desolate with them. He shall make their habitation desolate with them. The them is talking about America and the land of Israel. Give me that in Jeremiah, I mean, Joel 2, about drawing them out. Joel 2 and 20. Joel chapter 2, verse 20. But I will remove far off from you the northern army, and I will drive... The northern army is the armies of North America. The northern army are the armies of North America. Read it again. <laughs> But I will remove far off from you the northern army and will drive him into a land barren and desolate uh -huh. with his face toward the east sea. The east sea is the dead sea. And his hinder part toward the utmost sea. That's the Mediterranean sea. And his stink shall come up and his ill savor shall come up because he have done great things. Have, can we show a map of the land of Israel? I want a map. No. That's can we, okay. Put that on the screen. <clears throat> Y'all see the Mediterranean Sea on the left, mm -hmm. and the Dead Sea is right there on the right, next to Jordan, right there. So that whole section, God is telling you, that's the area where Armageddon, what we call today World War Three, is going to happen. Read it again, verse twenty, and keep the map on the screen. But I will remove. Y'all see next to the blue, it says Dead Sea. Put the highlight there so we can see it. Dead Sea. Read again, verse 20. But I will remove far off from you the northern army and will drive him into a land barren and desolate. Because the land is barren today, go ahead. With his face toward the East Sea. Mm -hmm. That's the Dead Sea. And his hinder part toward the utmost sea. That's the Mediterranean. And his stink shall come up. And his ill savor shall come up. There's going to be a lot of death there. Go ahead. Because he have done great things. That's right. Let's go on back now. Let's go on back to Jeremiah 50. What verse you was at, Erie? 40. I got to go look at it. Because I forgot. Jeremiah 50. Verse 45. Uh -huh. Therefore, hear ye the counsel of the Lord that he hath taken against Babylon and his purposes that he have purpose. So Babylon here is the northern armies. They're northern armies. Go ahead. That's right. And his purposes that he hath purpose against the land of the Chaldeans. America. Go ahead. Surely the least of the flock shall draw them out. That's the land of Israel. Go ahead. Surely he shall make the habitation desolate with them. He's going to make America desolate and the land of Israel. Go ahead. At the noise of the taking of Babylon. At the noise of the taking of Babylon. The earth is moved. The earth going to be moved. Go ahead. And the cry is heard among the nations. And the cry shall be heard among the nations. Give me chapter 51 and verse 1. Jeremiah chapter 51 verse 1. Because he goes on. Go ahead. Thus saith the Lord, behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. So the Lord's going to raise up nations a destroying wind. Go ahead. And will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her. Hey, can you find me a picture of a fan? You know what? I'm an ancient fan. A fanner. I don't want a Negro with a fan from uh, Macy's. A fanner. No, come on. No, stop. No, God help me. Uh, no, no. God, they don't know what they're doing. Uh, put in fanner of fire. Oof, Lord. No, you got no. No, ancient, ancient. Ooh, Lord. No, 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 no. Damn. No. 
Not shopping. Ancient fanner, ancient fan. Right there, okay. Put it on the screen. Ooh, that's a little better. Put it on the screen. A fan is an instrument you use to blow wind on. When you got a little flame, you blow it. You pull the ends, and it makes the fire rise. Everybody understand that? Oh, Lord Jesus, help me. Go back. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 2. And will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her. So nations will come that will make the fire hotter and hotter here. Meaning the destruction is talking about. Go ahead. And shall empty her land. This land is going to be destroyed. Go ahead. For in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about. The nation is going to be around about her. Go ahead. Against him that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow. And against him that lifted himself up in his brigandine, and spare ye not her young men. An instrument of war. Go ahead, war engine. Go ahead. Destroy ye utterly all her hosts. So God's judgment is to destroy everybody here. Go ahead. Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they that are thrust through in her streets. For Israel hath not been forsaken, nor Judah of his God, of the Lord of hosts. I want y'all to see that verse 5. Read it again. For Israel hath not been forsaken. It might look like God has forsaken us. People will look and say, God ain't with that people. The Lord, if they were the people of God, they ain't today. Look at them. Look how they act. But it says, read it again. For Israel hath not been forsaken. We ain't been forsaken. Go ahead. Nor Judah of his God, Go ahead. of the Lord of hosts, mm -hmm. though their land was filled with sin against... Though, though their land was filled with sin... Against the Holy One of Israel. Watch this. Flee out of the midst of Babylon. Flee, brothers. Go ahead. And deliver every man his soul. Do what? Deliver every man his soul. So this ain't a physical leave, because where you going to go? What country can you go to that the destruction will not hit? Remember, says the whole earth will be moved at God's presence. So verse 6 again. Flee out of the midst of Babylon. And deliver every man his soul. Go ahead. Be not cut off in her iniquity. Why? For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. This is saying the same exact thing as Revelation 18, verse 4. Get that? We coming right back here, though. Revelation chapter 18, verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. Come out of Babylon, my people. Go ahead. That ye be not partakers of her sins. Do not be partakers of the sins here in Babylon. Go ahead. And that ye receive not of her plagues. And that you don't receive of the destruction that's coming. Was that it, Yuri? Yes, sir. Go back to Jeremiah 51 and 6 again. Flee out of the midst of Babylon. And deliver every man his soul. Deliver every man his what? His soul. His what? His soul. Go ahead. Be not cut off in her iniquity. Now we want to explain some of the iniquities our people are cut off with. This Sunday. Not only is there Sunday worship. You at home. You believe that Sunday. Give me that in Matthew 12 and 8. Matthew chapter 12, verse 8. For the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath day. So Christ is Lord of the Sabbath day. Now what day is that? Give me the Exodus 20. Or you could get Leviticus 23, whichever floats your boat. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. Six days shall you labor. Let's, let me see. Sunday. Mon Wait, give me Matthew 28 and 1. Hold that. Write this down, Matthew 28 and 1. Matthew chapter 28, verse 1. In the end of the Sabbath. In the end of the Sabbath. As it began to dawn toward the first day of the week. As it began to dawn toward the first day of the week. We call that day what, brothers? Sunday. Go back to Leviticus, I mean Exodus 20. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. 
Six days shalt thou labor. Stop. So if the first day is Sunday, second day Monday, third day Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday is the seventh day. Matthew 12 and 8 again. Did you finish Exodus? I'm sorry. I'm all over the place. Verse 9. Where you at? Verse 10. Where you at? Exodus chapter 20, verse 10. Okay. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord the thy God. The seventh day is the Sabbath. So now Matthew 12 and 8. One more again. Matthew chapter 12, verse 8. For the Son of Man is Lord even of the Sabbath day. So why is there confusion about whether or not the first day of the week of the Sabbath is beyond me. You just evil. I'm talking to you at home, you just evil. Now, watch this. What other iniquities are we guilty of? Not only are some of our people going to worship this Sunday, they're going to celebrate something called New Year's Eve. <laughs> New Year's Eve. They say that that is the beginning of the new year. Give me Deuteronomy 16 and 1. Write these down. Deuteronomy chapter 16, verse 1. Observe the month of Abib and keep the Passover unto the Lord thy God. For in the month of Abib, the Lord thy God brought thee forth out of Egypt by night. So what month are we talking about in verse 1 here, brothers? Abib. It means ear of corn. Let's go to Exodus 23. <laughs> Exodus 12, I'm sorry. Exodus 12. And I want verse 2. Exodus 12 and 2. Exodus chapter 12 and verse 2. This month shall be unto you the beginning of months. It shall be the first month of the year to you. Now, what, what is it? Give me verse 11 to seal it so we know what month this is talking about. Verse 11. And thus shall ye eat it with your loins girded, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. So the month of, of Abib is when the Passover comes. That is the month, that's the beginning of the month. The word month comes from what word, brothers? It's the beginning of the moon. So read it again, verse 2. This month this shall, moon shall be unto you. The beginning of months. It shall be the beginning of months. Go ahead, the moons. Go ahead. It shall be the first it month. It shall be the first moon. Of the year to you. Put that on the screen. Zoom in at the top. The scholars know. Can you see that, Yuri? Yes, sir. Read that. Hebrew calendars. Biblical order. Civil order. No, he read the, well, yeah, read the, what we're talking about. Yes, Hebrew sir. Hebrew month. Hebrew monk, Nisan. Nisan was the Babylonian name. It wasn't the name God gave it. Read under it. Abib, uh -huh. Aviv. Go ahead. Exodus 13 and 4, Esther 3 and 7. When does it come according to the Gregorian calendar? March, April. So the new moon that comes at the end of March, when you count your 14 days, and at the end of the 14 days of the 15th, is what holiday? Passover. Passover. That would fall in April. That's how it works. And that was, go ahead, Yuri, I'm sorry. Barley. Barley harvest. harvest, feast, Passover, unleavened bread, first fruit. So the scholars know that the month of Bib is between March and April, the end of March to the beginning of April. So what y'all celebrating this Sunday is beyond me. A bib means ear of corn or literally spring season. You got this white man in Christianity telling you it's the dead of winter. Right. What are you going to say, Cap? You were going to say so. I was going to ask who the hell that nigga Janice then. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Leviticus 23, 5. Leviticus chapter 23, verse 5. In the fourth day of the first month, at even is the Lord's Passover. Mm -hmm. And on the 15th day of the same month, is the feast of unleavened bread unto the Lord. That's right. Seven days you must eat unleavened bread. So that's the beginning of the year for us. <laughs> Christians ain't figured that out. They got a Bible, but will not read it. Now, we went here because God commanded us not to be cut off 
in the iniquities of Babylon, right? It said the same thing in Revelation 18 and 4, right? What other iniquities are we cut off? And give me the next, give me, it's an Instagram video. Alicia, stay with me. Pay attention. Yep, put it on the screen. Read Deuteronomy 22 and 5, please. You can, yep. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. So they got this big giant brother, Stefan Diggs, wearing a dress to influence the rest of the young black men to do the same. Y'all don't find that suspicious? They get all the entertainers that our people love and look up to, especially the black men. They say, we got to feminize these black men. Yeah, look at a Tyrese. You don't find that suspicious. Can you say it on the mic? Hey, you got to find a video. Tyrese was prancing in that dress. He was prancing. What man prances? Only two people prance. Two things. A, a horse in a horse show and a princess prances around. Tyrese, which one are you? Are you a galloping stallion or are you a princess? He, he a princess. The internet said he had I, hips like Oprah. Oh, snap. Come on now, dog. Hey, hey, look at this. Look at how the white men are dressed and look at how the black man is dressed. Bruh. Nobody sees nothing wrong. You sisters don't see nothing wrong. Why is the white man dressed like a man, but the black man is a feminized? You don't find that suspicious. Humiliated. He was, he was just recently crying about the mistreatment of his ex-wife. A few months later, he now turns into his ex-wife. Damn. Yep. Lord, Damn. you're Officer Yuri. Give Lord. me an Ecclesiastes. Thank you. You can take him off the screen. Again. So how else... How else are we caught up in the iniquities of Babylon where the Lord says you better deliver your souls? Ecclesiasticus 23, <clears throat> I think it's verse 7, and jump down. No, I want 23, 23. That's what I want. Ecclesiasticus chapter 23, verse 23. For first, she have disobeyed the law of the Most High. Women, sisters, we need y'all to pay very close attention. Read it again. For first, she had disobeyed the law of the Most High. Mm -hmm. And secondly, she had trespassed against her own husband. And thirdly, she had played the whore in adultery mm. and brought children by another man. Now let's look at the video. Come on. Play it. Y'all got to see this video. What you got going on? Why you got that phone? What, do you, what man, is going on? Why am I hearing you pretty? Who you heard that from? It don't matter. Are you pregnant? I might be. By who? I mean, how could it be you if you ain't even home? You never hear. So I don't even see wait, 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 you. Wait, wait, I gotta wait, wait. call you, pencil that in, and even have time with you. So you saying you're pregnant? It's not mine. And you living here? Why I pay all the bills at? That's the least you could do. Are you like mine? That's the least you could do. What are you talking about, man? What you mean? You've been neglecting me for a long time. So you gonna baby on me? And I gotta hear from your rest. Why do you even hear it from her anyway? Why y'all talking in the first place? That that's what I mean. That's the stuff that I be talking about. That's what I mean. It's simple stuff like that. You can't talk to me, but you can talk to her. How that make sense? Stop. You think? Do y'all see anything wrong? You see how they flip it? She's pregnant by another man, but it's his fault that another woman told him. His wife is pregnant. She belongs Or to girlfriend the is pregnant. And she said, it, it's not a big deal. Right. A whole baby in your uterus. Another human being is not a big deal. She said it's the By least you could do. By another damn man. Ha, 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 Thank you. Ha, Perfect soundbite. Go back just uh, a few seconds. Go ahead, play. play. That's Wait, hold what on, I mean. Hold on, hold on. Some brothers in Israel will do the same thing, take her back. We'll take her. 
Simp, you simp brothers out there. Yeah, some of you, man. Ugh. Play. About. That's what I mean. It's simple stuff like that. You can't talk to me, but you can talk to her. How that make sense? You think I'm stupid? You sitting up here with a secret, babe. You talking about talking. What was you going to say anything? It was a secret. You just didn't know about it. So what is that called? Bruh. A secret. What? It's called... Hey, pause it. Pause it. Hey. And once, what do you mean secret? You just didn't know about it. What the hell is this? And called? once again, like the first video Bishop showed with the, the, the couple with the phone, you can see how the spirit change as soon as she get found out. Once the spirit change, you can see the you, you see what happens. The disrespect comes. You see what she re what she's really about. Go ahead. You think I'm stupid? You sitting up here with a secret, babe. You talking about talking. What was you gonna say anything? A secret. You just didn't know about it. So what is that called? A secret. It's called you look, you was out of the loop. You just needed to be out of the loop. But you but you and my we got a whole kid together. You is that is that my kid? Nope. I don't know. We could we could find out. We can call more if you want to call more. Is that my kid? We can call more if you want to call more. Wait, wait, wait. He asked about the other child she had. Is that my kid? You could call Maury and find out. That's a different baby than the one in her stomach right now. You Bruh. can't make this stuff up. She said, call Maury Bobby. Call Maury. Go ahead. It's called, you, look, you was out of the loop. You just needed to be out of the loop. But you, but you and my, we got a whole kid together. You, is that, is that my kid? Damn. Keisha, we could, we could find Keisha, out. We Keisha, could call Keisha, Maury Keisha, if you want to call Maury. Is that my kid? We could call Maury if you want to call Maury. So you saying, it's not my kid? I'm saying it's a possibility. That a six-year-old is not my kid. When have you spent time with me? When have you been around? I'm always working. You be on Instagram all the time. It makes money. What you mean? I, I'm paying everything on Keisha. Like, come on, you for real? Are you crazy? Come talk to me or nothing? I've been trying to talk to you. I've been trying to call you. I've been trying to have conversations with you. I tried to set up date night. Uh, say you wasn't worried you know about what? it. It's all you good. wasn't worried you, about you, it. You right? You, you right? Look, it's a date night. And they talking. Get your bag and get out. Yes, that's right. Yes. Play, play. Hey, hey, this, this, this mindset, um, y'all sisters that come in this body, y'all can't have this mindset right here. If, if the man is paying all the bills and he ain't never around, it's cause he's at work. That does not justify you to go out and do some wickedness behind his back. Say he don't spend no damn time with you. Well, either, either you want comfortability or you want your damn, uh, man at home up under you all the time. So you ain't cheating. You can't, you can't have one or the other. If he's not there, he's working to take care of your ass. At least you could do is be loyal to him while he's out breaking his back for this white man. So your ass right. is in the air conditioning. Right, 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 right. We ain't sipping around here, Bishop. Hey, Yuri, hold that. Give me Proverbs 31. Brothers, this is what we need. Sisters, Proverbs 31, I want 11 and 12. This is war. Right. Come on. Proverbs chapter 31, verse 11. The heart of her husband doeth safely trust in her, mm -hmm. so that he shall have no need of spoil. Watch this. She will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Brothers, that's what y'all want. You better pray for that. You better pray when you out at work or doing God's business, this hoe ain't at home slutting around, then get an attitude and blame you because you out working to pay all the bills. It don't make no, make that make sense. Go on back. Where we at, Yuri? I'm sorry. You want to go back to Sirach 23? No. Yes, sir. Uh, Jeremiah. got me confused now. Oh, give me the next one. Give me the next video. Yeah, right there. We need brothers oh, yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, play this one. Gotta go. She gotta go, Tasha. I'm tired of it. I've been dealing with this for too long. She gotta go. Now, before anybody got anything to say, or try to judge me for what I'm doing, I'm gonna tell y'all what's really going on. I can't do it no more. You, I done told this and, woman. And, real quick. And you know, you know, you know what's crazy? That the brother has to get to the point where he has to document this situation and say his side because. Everybody will look at him as evil right. for putting the hole on the curb. Right. 
Hey, I read the comments. The women, black women are attacked. How are you going to do it in the rain? Right. How are you going to do it in the rain? How, you got the baby stuff in the rain. To hell with the baby. Right. It ain't even his baby. That's right. Shut your black ass lips. She should have thought about that before she did what she did. Go on back a little bit. I'm going to tell y'all what's really going on. I can't do it no more. I done told this woman seven times to leave my house. Get out. It's over. I don't want to be with her no more. I can't be with you. You don't want to do nothing for yourself. She don't want to better herself. Stop. Pause it. She want to sit around. Stop. Pause it. And Brothers, some of y'all get married to sisters who have, some of these women have good jobs. But some of you, not all of you, some of you get married and guess what some of them do? They quit their job and want you to pay everything. That's some of them. Some of them want to be stay-at-home moms. Now, sisters, if you want to be a stay-at-home mom, that's fine. But you got to take care of everything still. Brother's got to go to work. He might have two or three jobs. You got to understand that and not come back. You ain't never here. Well, since you quit your job, I got to pay all the bills. Message. Some of you, now I'm going to flip it. Some of you brothers, you marry bum sisters. That's a sister with no goals, no aims. She ain't about nothing, no ambition. She don't even have kids, but she just stay around, sit around and scratch. You know, brothers sit around like a bum and play PlayStation and scratch with his hand down his pants. Some of these women do the same damn thing. Scratch and sniff. Scratch and sniff. <laughs> the hell is this? Bishop. Hey, they don't even have a clue. Yeah. They have no clue. But you know what's so heavy, Bishop? You see what's, what's taking place. So you mentioned the sisters going in on the brother for trying to better his life. He's getting himself out of a toxic situation. Mm. How is it that the men in the world that don't even have the Bible or understand it, they're not afraid to start over? Some of you men have dragon demons, right. hydras, right. and are afraid to start over. Right. And you don't trust the Lord thy God. You don't trust God. No faith. No faith. Bro, Greenleaf, you got stuff going on here in Atlanta, Riverdale. I'm reading text messages with sisters talking to sisters talking about, hey, sis, did he know you committed adultery yet? I'm sitting like, what the hell is this? What adultery is she talking about? I got, she's, our sister said, I got T on sister A, sister B, sister C, sister D, E, F, e, F and G. I'm like, what, this, what is these text messages about? Y'all be telling your business to other sisters. When that sister get mad, all the stuff come out of you. Now you're like, I, I don't know. It was a long time ago. I'm sorry. Brothers, you better leave these hoes. Some of these women are secret hoes. And when they come out, don't be afraid to drop the hole on the curb. I'm just telling you. Put this, play the song. Play the song. Daddy, turn it up. They skip this. your black ass lips when i say i'm not i'm not lying i don't know if you showed them the text messages did you show them the text messages some of them yes you showed them some of it you didn't show them all of it no some of y'all names was mentioned i'm just telling you straight some of you holes sitting here with your head covered your fringes and border but some of you holes undercover holes but it's gonna come out i'm just sit back and wait i'm gonna let y'all handle it Cause you know I go, I go, I, I'm, 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 I gotta, I gotta, let me pull myself back. Where we at? You know, Yuri, I'm, I'm lost. Playing the video, Bishop. Huh? You playing the video. Cut oh, off we the was iniquity. playing the video. Yes, I'm sir, sorry. Yes sir, yes, sir. Yes, yes. Go ahead. Thank you. I don't want to be with her no more. I can't be with you. You don't want to do nothing for yourself. She don't want to better herself. She want to sit around and play the victim and act like I'm the problem. I'm not the problem. This all the stuff she got to go. I asked her seven times, get yourself together. 
I even tried to make it work. She living with me. I'm paying all the bills. She got her kids here. I didn't even accept her kids. I don't even got no kids. Stop! 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 Wait! 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. I'm having a tantrum. Those ain't even his kids. Some of you brothers marry some of these sisters, and these sisters got kids, and they treat you like S-H-I-T. Throw them out. I'm telling you. Anyway, I, I don't know. Is it me? She should be honored that another man says, I'm going to take care of your kids. But instead, she's threatening you. She's calling you names. She got to go. She got to go. Hey, that reminds me. That reminds me. It reminds me. Wait. I talked about it last week, and I was going to leave it alone. Remember the sister that got three kids with two different baby daddies? I was going to leave it alone because I spoke about I'm going to leave it alone. But she decided I can manipulate Bishop by going through his wife. What? Sister, that don't work in my house. My wife will tell you she don't manipulate me. She and she cannot give me some other nice words. She cannot persuade me. I see what I see. I read what I read. I know what I know. My wife knows she better shut. She better uh, shut up. Shut up. So my wife says, a sister just sent me a nine-page email. And I don't know who she is, she says to me. Damn! She says, and I don't even know the situation. I said, send it to me. So I begin to read. Should I show it? Mm. Bring it up! Bring it up! Hey, why the Yo. sisters so quiet? Look at them, they're quiet. What the hell going on with here? receipts, man. Sisters, y'all want to see this? Since I said y'all want to see this. Stop the cap. <laughs> so, okay. okay, I'm looking at it. I can't. She got images of her children. I don't want to show this. But there's, I guess I'll, where's the page I want to read? Hey, who did I send it to? Uh, you okay, I'll read this. I'll read this one page. Y'all listen. <clears throat> no, this one page, no, her name's in it. Damn! Uh, where it says, uh, I met a contractor. It's like page four or five. Gotcha, bitch. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> you got it. Check, check, check. Start right. with, with my question. My question. Okay. Uh, my question is, what do I do in this situation as my kids' dads help to watch these kids on the days when I work as a registered nurse. So remember, she got two baby daddies. Those baby daddies are in the children's lives. And we counsel the brother, don't marry her. Not yet, because who want to be home? Imagine you discipline two both. Let's say you discipline all the kids. Pop, pop, pop. What the baby daddy going to do? They going to come see you. Imagine two niggas whooping you upside your head. You might be good fighting one, but when that second one come, you finished. Hey, they showed a, a, a little scene of that in Poetic Justice. Uh oh. Y'all remember that? They showed that yeah. Poetic Justice. Yeah. Go ahead, read on. Uh, I really liked the officer, but also need the help with my children so I can work. So wait a minute. Does she want a husband, a lord? No, she want a babysitter. She want a babysitter. Damn. Go ahead. I don't have a current child support order against the fathers because we were handling everything without the court. Stop right there. 
There's a problem there. If the courts are not involved and the father's helping, he's still in life. Why marry someone like that? You're going to be in a world of trouble, brothers. Message. You're going to come to school with black eyes and black lips, broke legs. I'm telling you. Read it. Read it. Put again. Uh, I don't have a current child support order against the fathers because we were handling everything without the courts. It wasn't until I started proving that I was counseled to go get child support from dad number two, even though he watches his kids while I work. So that's against dad number two. What she doesn't mention, dad number one is going to court to get custody. Dad number one beat one of the kids and gave the child a black eye. She still did not go to, she didn't, no police report. We said, did you call the police? No. Why not? Why, brothers, do you think she did not call the cops? She could have got full custody. Why? Huh? Pwah, 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 pwah. Y'all keep on playing with these people out here. Read on. Hey, brothers, let's keep it real. We all men in here. Let's keep it real. We have a bunch of grown ass women in here. When you put in a sister, she still got those close relationship with the father. I'm telling you, he is hitting it. Right. Stop being stupid. She, he's hitting it until she marry you. To this day. Bishop, Bishop, she. She, she can afford a, a, a babysitter. She yeah, a nurse. exactly. She a registered nurse. I, I, don't they make money? They make good money. What the hell is this? There's some ho I'm sorry. Where There's we at? There's some hoes in this house. There's some hoes you in this it? house. <laughs> yeah, yeah, finish that. Uh, I went to court. Hey, real quick. Did y'all y'all notice how Bishop just made mention that he, we counseled the brother not to do this, right? It's a sign of weakness when you go back to a sister or your wife and you say leadership or bishop said, this is what I have to do. Yeah. You, you actually show that you don't really believe what was even brought to you that's, or counseled you out of the word of God. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you don't believe it. So therefore, you put the, the burden of it on someone else as though you were absolved or had nothing to do with that decision. Right. You, she automatically loses respect for you. You think you're doing a good thing by trying to save face. You actually show how weak you are because that's not your frame of thought. If you Listen, if you don't agree with the council, you should have said it in the council. Right. Mm -hmm. You don't go to the woman and say, oh, bishop said, deacon said, or captain said. Right. You show even more weakness. We, we, we could respect a brother that says, listen, I don't really agree with that. I'm going to handle it this way. All right, brother. May the force be with you. Right. Yep. Do your thing. But to go to the woman and be like, oh, uh, Deacon said, or Bishop said, bro, that shows mad weakness, man. Mm -hmm. Message. Exactly. We don't. Um, I went to court to file like I was advised, but because we had no custody order, the court said I have to start there first. We were handling the children amicably, but I was counseled to go to court. And now I started the court proceeding so that I could have the court order Okay, let me see the last page. No, the last page. Go to the last page. Oh, okay. Uh, well, yeah, that's it right there. Wait. Mm. I, I got it. Here you go, Bishop. Wait, wait. What does it say? Uh, what you got? Go ahead. Name dropping. Uh, about it. Children amicably, but was counseled to go to court. Now I started the proceeding so that I could have the court order if I married the uh, officer. I understand Bishop's disposition. But based off the side of the story, but based off of the side of the story he has, what do I do? I'm asking not only for myself, but for all the unmarried mothers who are repenting. Wait a minute. Huh? Wait a minute. So she is the spokeswoman for all the unmarried women. All the unmarried women ain't dealing with two baby daddies. She cannot put herself in everybody's boat. Yep. Everybody's situation is different. Yep. Read on. What do I do? I'm asking not only for myself, but all the unmarried mothers who are repenting. Do we not get married? Yes, she go. She goes to the extreme. Right. Right. Yeah. Do we not right. get married? Right. Mm -hmm. Not if you got two baby daddies in the picture coming by the house. The answer for you is no. 
beating the doonies down. Getting your doonies right. beat down? No. Go ahead. Do we return to the vomit with unequally yoked children fathers? No, some of you didn't do it for Christ. <laughs> <laughs> some of you see some of you seriously need to not get married. I'm being honest. Wait for Christ. Wait for the kingdom. Wait for Jesus. Wait for Jesus. Only Jesus can help you. Damn. Read on. Do we not get married? Stop from there again. Uh, do we not get married? Do we return to vomit with unequally yoked children's fathers? Oh, wait a minute. Wait, I forgot this. Let me explain this. Two baby daddies, right? Three kids, right? She's been in the truth five years. The youngest children is five and four. The math ain't math in Do you see something wrong here? Oh, my God. Two of them kids she had in the truth. So that proof, they still... Mm. You don't find that suspicious? Uh, where we at? Do we return to the vomit with unequally yoked children, fathers? I am devastated. Wait, Is, was, Bishop, have you ever taught that that's an option? What? To go back to a wicked man in the world? No. That's never been an option. So why would you even put that in the email as though that's your only resort? No, the only the resort is stop banging your baby daddy. Right. right. And, and, and if you choose not to follow the counsel, just go back. First, no, it was always a, why didn't you marry your baby daddy? You sisters, you lay down with the man he was good enough to have sex with, but he wasn't good enough to marry. Something's wrong with you. You chose that man. You handpicked that man. She said, oh, I'm going to have sex with him. When you chose to have sex with him, you chose to have a baby with him. That's your baby daddy. That Ooh. should be your husband. Or he got quiet on that side of the room. Damn. Hell is wrong with that nigga over there. That's all I want. Let's, wait, Yuri, I'm sorry. Where was we? We were in Jeremiah chapter 51 and verse 6. No, we was at the video. What we was we? at the video, Bishop. <laughs> That's right. Go ahead, back to the video. Act like I'm the problem. I'm not the problem. This is all the stuff she got to go. I asked her seven times. Get yourself together. I even tried to make it work. She living with me. I'm paying all the bills. She got her kids here. I didn't even accept her kids. I don't even got no kids. I didn't even accept her, her kids and treat them kids like mine. I love them kids, but I can't do this no more, Tasha. You got to go. She come in all hours of the night, whenever she want to, always trying to play victim, telling everybody it's me. It's me crying to her co-workers and family, saying it's me, it's me, it's me. Y'all got to understand, man, I'm fed up, I'm stressing. I just try to help this girl numerous of times. Try to help her get on her feet, and she just ain't got, it's like she don't want nothing in life. I cannot be with a woman like that. All we do is argue, 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 argue. She don't want to work. She pick her kids up, drop her kids off to a mama house. Why she go out and be in the streets all night, and I'm already paying the bills. And the tough part is, I got a homie, his wife got a business. She was going to hire her on the spot to answer the phone for her business, $20 an hour. I tell this dumb, hey, my homie wife got a business, and all you got to do is answer the phone, $20 an hour. She going to look at me and tell me what the fuck I look like. I'm like, what do you mean, what the f*** do you look like? $20 an hour, you telling me you can't work for $20 an hour to sit on your ass? That's when I knew I couldn't work no more. That's her kids, stuff. Uh, it's like, I can't do it. Her kids tear my house up. You know what I mean? I love them kids, my dear heart, but I can't do it. Sometimes you get fed up. I'm waking up, I'm going to work every day with attitudes, getting into it. I'm sorry, go back. go back two seconds. Somebody look at the sad, lonely turtle swimming pool. Like, Did y'all see the blue turtle hour, swimming pool? Hour, you telling me you can't work for twenty dollars an hour to sit on your ass? That's when I knew I could watch. Go ahead. Kids, uh, Wait till you see the head. Go ahead. Keep going back. 
I was like, I can't do it. Her kids tear my house up. You know what I mean? I love them kids, my dear heart, but I can't do this. Sometimes hey, it's Hey, pause it real quick. I'm waking up. No, up I'm the pool. Look, hey, don't the little turtle sad pool. as hell. I feel sorry for the damn turtle pool. Damn. <laughs> damn. Hey, another thing is, it's a good thing what the brother's doing this way is because, you know, we some other brothers, you know, they will take it to a violent route. You understand? And we there's been videos, we played it before, where the brother will, is on the phone, He's on the phone talking to his homeboy. He's, he's, he's recording, and he goes and kills the sister. Y'all remember that? You understand? Because she drove him to do that. You understand? Messed up his mental. So this brother said, hey, you know what? Before I, I go that route, get, you got to go. You got to get the hell out. Mm. Play up. On the work every day with attitudes, getting into it with my boss, arguing with my employees, I mean my coworkers. And it's like, I just can't do it. God, please forgive me for doing this. I never meant to be this way. Like, you know, you know, I'm a good man at heart. But sometimes you get fed up. I'd ask for seven times to leave. And it's just like, I can't deal with this no more. Hey, you know why he was able to put her out? Because his house is not in her name. That's right. Right, right, right. Exactly. Her name is not in the damn house. Hey, some of you officers don't clap. Y'all take notes. Damn. Y'all take Damn. notes. Her name is not, is not in the lease. Her name is not in the mortgage. She, he don't have a John Beck account with her. Every That's why he's able to get will of her. All the mm -hmm. brothers ain't clapping. You. That ain't gonna work. <laughs> Play on. I didn't want y'all to see. I got her stuff out here. And if you ever try to come over here and mess up my house or anything like that, man, I already got my police report filed. Right. So they will come find you. Don't come over here on my property. This is my property. Y'all see nothing wrong with the house, no windows busted. Nothing's wrong. Let me show you all the side. So she come over here acting crazy. First of all, she's going to jail. Second of all, I just want to show y'all so that can't don't nobody say nothing like, oh, that was already messed up. And you trying to I can't do it. When you fed up, you fed up. Twenty dollars an hour to sit down and answer the phone. You tell me what the f you look like. Like I'm I'm I can't do this. Your stuff is outside. I apologize, God. Please forgive me for doing this, man. I ask you to release me from any negativity or anything in my life. And my heart told me to do this. I love them kids. I do not want to put them kids out. But they got to go. They got to go. I've done too much for her and those kids. You have to go. I can't deal with it no more. And what's what's the little, with nobody. hold on, what's the little dirty puddle in the in the turtle? It's like them kids just finished swimming in there and left a damn ring she, around she the turtle. Clean it, Cap. No wonder the damn turtle sad. Cap, she ain't clean it. snotty nose kids. Damn. I don't want to do nothing to help better their life. I can't do it, man. And that's just what it is, man. It's like, it don't, it, don't, it don't make no sense. God, please forgive me for this. God, please forgive me. Just forgive me, God. Please. Yeah, he told us seven times. He's saying, God, forgive me, because it's hard when you put, uh, it's not so much the woman, the children. He's saying, God, please forgive me. Give me the Ecclesiastes 726. This is for some of you in here. Bring it out. Ecclesiastes chapter 7, verse 26. Bring it out. And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands. Whoso pleases God shall escape from her. If you want to please God, brothers, it says you shall escape from her. From that type of woman. But, but. The sinner shall be taken by her. If you choose to stay with an evil woman, you are a sinner. That's what God is saying right there. Some of you are frightened and afraid. Some of you are dependent on her. That's why, give me the scripture, give me some, Yuri, the preeminence. Ain't nothing wrong if she's a devil going back to your mama house if you can't take care of yourself. Some of you are not ready to be married yet. Go back to your mama house or go to your homeboy house. Some, some brothers is more worried about their credit than their manhood. Yep. Their credit. So, Damn. for instance, if they, if they walk away from the house, they say, oh, my credit going to get messed up and things of that nature. You standing, as a, standing up as a man of God, your credit can get repaired. Right. What you gonna do about your manhood when she got your balls because you attached to this property yeah. or attached to this car or attached to something? What you yeah. gonna do about that? 
What are, what are you going to do about his mental state of mind? Remember the brother said he was going to work mad. You going to work with an attitude, you cursing your boss out, your coworkers, and it ain't so much as you was coming because of the stress you got from her. But you ain't man enough to go to leave. Kick her to the curb. If you can't kick her to the curb because it's in her name, just leave. Yuri, where are you at? I'm sorry, where are we at? Ecclesiastes chapter 33, verse 22. In all thy works, keep to thyself the preeminence. Mm. Leave not a stain in thine honor. Read. At the, at the time when thou shalt in thy days fin and finish thy life, distribute thine inheritance. Yuri just messing up all the wording. Can you read it again, Officer Yuri? Yes, please? sir. Verse 22, in all thy works, keep to thyself the preeminence. Brothers, keep to yourself the preeminence. Meaning you the head, you the leader, you the provider. Go ahead. Leave not a stain in thine honor. Now, I'm not saying it's wrong if you find a sister and y'all both go 50-50. When I got married to my wife, I was broke as hell. So was she. She didn't have nothing either. I had a nickel. She had three cents. Let's put it together. We had eight cents together. Go ahead, Yuri. At the time when thou shalt end thy days and finish thy life, yep. distribute thine inheritance. Now, in time, I started to get better with my little finances. And I was able to take care of everything. And she had the option. If you act stupid, you can go to your mama house. But if you're going to live with me, act right. Act like what this Bible say. That's it. You got to put it down. Don't be scared. Some of y'all are scared. Because she going to say like the other woman, did you forget everything's in my name? I got you, nigga. I got you by the walls. Got you, bitch. What the hell is this? Ah, rip. She got your balls and she going, whoa, whoa. Now you going, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? The hell is this? She got your real ball. She gave you the Velcro balls. Yeah. This is war. Exactly. Hey, what's that video right there? Are we going to get flagged for this? Go ahead, play it. Oh, that's the baby daddy. That's going to be some brothers. Wait, wait, explain it. Explain it. Because some of them is no, no, them two that whooped his ass, they got babies with her. Right. So the right. one that is getting his ass whooped is a boyfriend right. that's trying to play stepdaddy. Y'all see that, brothers? That's what's going to happen. We trying to save you from getting your behind whooped. You go on and marry a sister with, with two baby daddies. That's going to happen to you right there. Now, why did we go through all this? You know I get a short-term memory. It's using the spirit, Je Bishop. Using the spirit. Jack, back, Yuri, help me. Jeremiah. Chapter 51 and verse 6. Yeah. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Oh, that was it. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Mm, mm, mm. Read again, Yuri. I'm sorry. Flee out of the midst of Babylon. And deliver every man his soul. Deliver every man his soul. Go ahead. Be not cut off in her iniquity. So what we just showed you are various iniquities that take place here. Yep. And when God is warning us not to get cut off in these sins. Cut off means killed. Means died. Put to death. Don't get put to death because you all up in these iniquities here in America, here in Babylon. What verse we are, Yuri? Verse 6. Go ahead. For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. Verse 7. Babylon had been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Uh -huh. Therefore, the nations are mad. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. So this is a prophecy about the fall of America. Go ahead. How for her? How for her? Take balm for her pain. Mm -hmm. If so, she may be healed. Many people have tried to heal America. Give me Trump. I don't want that, brother. I, I, want, I was going to go into him, but I'm going to leave it. I don't want that. Nope. Yep. Put that up. 
Donald Trump tries to heal America, make, a gr- make America great again, was a bomb, was him trying to attempt to heal America. Read that verse again, Yuri. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so, be she may be healed. So, like I was saying, he's tried to heal America. Many so-called Republicans, many of you that follow Trump, believe you are attempting to heal America. There is no healing for America. Everybody yeah. understand that? She's going down. She's going down. She's going down. Read it again. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. That's the final analysis. She will be destroyed. Go ahead. Yeah. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. Go back to Revelation 18, 2. Bring it out. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, and the hold of every foul spirit, and the cage of every unclean and hateful bird. So Babylon is going to, Jeremiah saw it, John the Revelator saw it. Read on. Verse 3, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. Mm -hmm. And the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Now, meaning her policies. Now, you may ask, how does Babylon fall? The chapter before it explains. Go to Revelation 17 real quick. And I think it's verse, is 11? Nope. Yeah, 11. Revelation chapter 17, verse 11. Watch this. Yes. And the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth. So the eighth is America. If y'all got the pictures of the eight heads of the dragon, you can put it on the screen. Yep, put that on the screen. You can put me in picture in picture. P and P. Read again. And the beast that was and is not. Meaning the beast that was in your vision and is currently not in existence. Go ahead. Even he is the eighth. Even he is the eighth head. And is of the seventh. And is of the seventh. The and seventh head is Great Britain. America came out of Britain. Everybody understand that? So the seven heads, Greece, Rome, Spain, France, Germany, Russia, Britain. That's seven. The seventh was Great Britain. America is of Great Britain. America is the eighth head. Read the verse again. And the beast that was and is not. And the beast that was in your vision and is not currently in existence. Even he is the eighth. Even he is the eighth head. And is of the seventh. And is of the seventh and, head. And goeth into perdition. The ultimate outcome for the eighth head, America, is perdition. Perdition means hell, destruction, desolation. Y'all understand that? Read on. And the beast, excuse me, and the ten horns which thou sawest are ten kings. The ten horns are the ten common markets as you see on the bottom. Belgium, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Germany, Italy, Greece, France, Denmark, Ireland, United Kingdom. Go ahead. Which have received no kingdom as yet. During the time of John, they had no kingdom as yet. But received power as kings one hour with the beast. That's when EU NATO was established in 1957. Go ahead. These have one mind. These have one mind. And shall give their power and strength unto the beast. Their power is their military power and their economic power. NATO is the military power. The EU is the economic power. They have supported the United States of America. Everybody with me so far? I know I'm going fast, but watch this. Read on. Verse 14. These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them. For he is Lord of lords and King of kings. And they that are with him are called and chosen and faithful. Watch this. And he said unto me, The waters which thou sawest where the horse sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. Watch the Here come. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast. Stop. Put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Put me in picture and picture again. Yuri, read it one more time. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast. The ten horns, Belgium, Luxembourg, Netherlands, Germany, United Kingdom, Italy, Greece, France, Denmark, Ireland. Now there's more. 
But read on. These shall hate the whore. Something's going to occur for NATO to hate the United States of America. Now, we have sat back and asked ourselves, I wonder what it is. I'm going to show you a video if I can find it. Bring it if I can find it, Lord, help me, help me, help me. It's a man with a beard. Okay, here we go. Uh, Alicia, you ready? Are you ready? Okay, here we go. I'm going to post it right now. Do you see it? It's an Instagram. What makes the horns turn against America? Let's see. We're going to play this clip right here. Pay close attention. You got it, Alicia? Yes, sir. Pay attention. Start at the beginning. We need audio. The United States stands completely isolated globally for supporting Israel in this massacre. And the consequences of that are being felt all over the world in shifting alliances, in economic patterns, uh, in changing geopolitical structures, uh, even in uh, the use of the dollar as currency and many other things. Uh, there is a massive, a seismic change of geopolitics underway in which the U.S. has chosen nearly total isolation in the world. And what's happening is uh, the, the U.S., uh, so contrary to being what uh, Biden it, in his fantasy thinks that the world looks to the U.S. for leadership, the world looks at the U.S. aghast. The U.S. stands alone with Israel. Of course, uh, the world's even more aghast at what Israel is doing because we haven't had uh, the real-time video feed of uh, mass slaughter quite this way before. Of course, we've had war in our living rooms uh, on our social media or television broadcasts, but the real-time slaughter, and as President Erdogan said, of hospitals and schools, I would add mosques, uh, apartment buildings, uh, this is an attempt stated by the Israelis, although we don't want to hear it, so we try not to hear the actual words that are used, but to make Gaza uninhabitable. And that's, that's got a purpose that also needs to be understood. Israel is not fighting Hamas. Israel is fighting for a greater Israel, which is a, a kind of messianic, biblical idea uh, that uh, now is in political ascendancy in Israel, that Israel has the right to control all of the area. It has the right to control the millions and millions of Palestinians because to some uh, zealots believe, and they are powerful right now, God said so in the book of Joshua sometime around the 5th century B.C. And you can't really make this up because this is 21st century stuff. And right. it's devastating. And this is what we're siding with. I don't think Americans really understand what is motivating the Israelis. I don't think Americans understand the risk of this war widening very significantly, very dangerously, and very fast. This is what we're up against. And unfortunately, we have a president who's not effectively a president. I don't know what he is, but uh, it's it's the worst foreign policy imaginable. So we sat back and often asked, I wonder what's going to cause the nations to turn against America. Well, this is one of the things. So go back to Revelation 17 again and Bring verse 16. Yes, sir. In the ten horns, which thou sawest upon the beast. Wait, put it back on the screen. Come on, man. Come on, man. Go ahead. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore. These shall hate America. So there's something that's going to cause, this is a possibility of what's causing the nations to hate America. Everybody's seeing what America and Israel have chosen to do. Genocide. That's what it is. Genocide. Slaughter of men, innocent men, women, and children. Everybody over there is not Hamas. <laughs> Read again. In the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh, 
and burn her with fire. This is perdition. This is perdition. Go ahead. For God hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will. God hath put it in their hearts to fulfill his will. It's God's will that the ten horns turn against America. Go ahead. And to agree. And to agree. And give their kingdom unto the beast. How long? How long? Until the words of God shall be fulfilled. Until the words of God being prophesied shall be fulfilled. You men understand that? Go ahead. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. That's the United States of America. Let's go on back, Officer Yuri, before we close out. Where we at? We was in Jeremiah 51, right? Yes, sir. Verse 8. And verse 8. Let me get it. Let me get it. We're almost done, brother and sister. We're almost done. This is war. That's right. Come on. Babylon is suddenly fallen and destroyed. Mm. How for her? Take balm for her pain. If so be, she may be healed. Read. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. You cannot heal this country. Go ahead. Forsake her. The Bible says forsake her. And let us go everyone into his own country. Everybody's going to return to their own country. Give me that in Isaiah 13, 17. I'm going to yeah. show you the correlation. Isaiah 13, 14 might be. Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 14. And it shall be as the chase roe, and as a sheep that no man taketh up. This white man is going to be like a chased deer that nobody's going to help or taketh up to help. Go ahead. They shall every man turn to his own people. The time of nationalism is coming. Every man, every woman shall return to their own race of people. That's the prophecy. Go ahead. And flee everyone into his own land. Go ahead. Everyone that is found shall be thrust through, uh -huh. and everyone that is joined unto them. And if you choose to decide, I'm going to stand with Karen, I'm going to stand with Timmy and Bob, go ahead. Shall fall by the sword. The Bible says you're going to die. Go ahead. Their children also. And if you got little cute children with them, oh, look how light-skinned they are. Look at the curly hair they got. Go ahead. Their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. I didn't write this, brothers and sisters. That's prophecy. That's what must be prophesied. It's what's going to happen. Let's go back to Jeremiah. 51 and 9 again. Yes, sir. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Wait. Read again. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. And let us go every one into his own country, for her judgment reacheth unto heaven and is lifted up even to the sky. Wait a minute, that says the same thing in Revelation 18:5. Get that? I hope y'all taking good notes. Write this down. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven. And God hath remembered her iniquities. Ah, uh, let's go on back now, saying the same exact thing. Jeremiah 51, 10. Verse 10. The Lord hath brought forth our righteousness. Come and let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord our so, God. So, brothers, we, it would behoove you. Study, pray, apply. Read it again, Yuri. The Lord hath brought forth our righteousness. Come. And let us declare in Zion the work of the Lord our God. Our job is to declare in Zion the work of the Lord our God. Our job is to prophesy. Our job is to testify what's going to happen. Do you men understand that? Read. Make bright the arrows. Gather the shields. The Lord have raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes. Wait a minute. The kings of the Medes, Isaiah 13, 17. Is that yeah. the kings of the Medes? Ah. Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 17. Wait, wait, let me get it. I'm slow. Finish oh. him. Go ahead. Behold, I will stir up the Medes against them, which shall not regard silver. So and the I, Medes would not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. The Medes would not regard silver. They would not have delight in gold. Go ahead. Their bows also shall dash the young men to pieces. Now, when you read about the Medes, write this down. Cyrus, when you read about King Cyrus, his mother was a Mede, his father was Persian. The Medes is referring to Iran, because that's what ancient Persia was, Iran. Write that down. Now, give me 2nd Ezra, uh, is it 15? 
15 and uh, about the Carmanians. Bring it out. 29, give me that. Second Esther's. Chapter 15, verse 29. Is that the right verse? Because I ain't looking at it. Verse 30 is what you want. Okay, start at 29. Where the nations of the dragons of Arabia shall come out with many chariots. So the Arabs going to start in this war first. Go ahead. And the multitude of them shall be carried as the wind upon earth. Come on. That all they which hear them may fear and tremble. Watch this. Also the Carmanians. The Carmanians are, is Iran. That is the Medes. That is the Medes. Persia and Media. Go ahead. Also the Carmanians raging in wrath shall go forth as the wild boars of the wood. And with great power shall they come and join battle with them. They're going to join the Arabs, God. And shall waste a portion of the land of the Assyrians. That's Israel, modern day Israel. That Was that the end of that verse? Yes, sir. Go back to Jeremiah. And where were we at? Verse 11. Read 11 again. Make bright the arrows, gather the shields. The Lord have raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes. God's going to raise up Iran. Go ahead. For his device is against Babylon to destroy his it. His plan is to destroy Babylon. Guess what? It's like checkmate, nigga. Right. They're going to attack Israel. America's going to say, wait a minute. Hold that. Go back to Joel 2. Watch the chess move. Jo uh, Joel 2. Uh, what verse was that? 20. Joel Come chapter on. 2 verse 20. Put it on the screen. But I will remove far off from you the northern army. Something is going to happen in Israel to make America go, wait, we got to leave these Negroes here alone and go help Israel. Go ahead. But I will remove far off from you the northern army and will drive him into a land barren and desolate. Put the map, put the map, put the map back up. Come on, brothers. No, not that one. On. Pay attention in the scriptures. Roll with me. Roll with me in the spirit. Y'all doing your own thing. Put the map of Israel back up on Joel 2. Right? Yes. No. Yeah. Oh, you can put that one. It's fine. Put it up on the screen. Zoom in. Read it again. But I will remove far off from you the northern army and will drive him into a land barren and desolate with his face toward the EC. What's the EC, brothers? The Dead Sea right there. there go. go ahead. And his hinder part. Toward the utmost sea. What's the utmost sea, brothers? Mediterranean, Mediterranean right there. Go, uh, did you finish it, uh, Yuri? And his stink shall come up, and his ill savor shall come up. There's going to be destruction there. Go ahead. Because he has done great things. That's now, it. was that a Yuri? Yes, Because I'm not looking at it. Yes, sir. Go back to Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 11. Mm. Make bright the arrows, gather the shields. War! War! This war! war! The Go Lord ahead. have raised up the spirit of the kings of the Medes, for his device is against Babylon to destroy it. So God's plan is to destroy Babylon. So one chess move is, I'm going to have something pop off in the Middle East. I'm going to bring the Arabs there. I'm going to bring Iran there. And America's going to be forced to enter this war. And this then God war. said, I'm going to destroy it. I'm going to have That's NATO right. hit America. Finish That's it. what's going to happen. Let's get a lot of hands for this thing. I know you scared, but it's okay. And I know you scared at home. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Let's read on. We ain't done yet, but we almost done. Because, because it is the vengeance of the Lord, the vengeance of his temple. Set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon. Make the watch strong. Make the watch strong. Set up the watchmen. Set up the watchmen. Prepare the ambushes. Prepare the traps. For the Lord have both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon. So what God has prophesied to happen here is going to happen. Go ahead. O thou that dwellest upon many waters. Now you can put the map up. O thou that dwellest upon many waters. America has over eight. How many? Read that. U.S. military bases around the world. The U.S. controls about 850 bases in more than 90 countries worldwide. Pull back, pull back. Do y'all see that? America is the beast. America that's is the right. world do domination. Nobody really can confront her. That's right. There must be, or that's why the Ten Horns must unite against her. You can't bring this beast down. This is an empire, okay? So that's why God's plan is, I'm going to let these, I'm going to have these ten come against America. But guess what? I got to scatter their defenses. I got to have the Arabs come together. 
I got to have Iran join the Arabs, yeah, yeah. hit Israel. <laughs> America's going to focus on Israel. Then I'm going to have NATO hit the United States of America yeah. and burn her with fire. That's how it's going to go down. So, Yuri, where we at? One more again. Where Verse we at? 13. Read 13. Oh, oh, thou that dwellest upon many waters, abundant in treasures, thine end is come. In the measure of thy covetousness, mm. the Lord of hosts. You see that? And the measure of thy covetousness. This white man has coveted the land of Israel. They stole it. Put their people there. That's what they've done. Read. The Lord of hosts has sworn by himself, saying. Saying what? Surely I will fill thee with men as with caterpillars. Wait a minute. What do caterpillars do to a tree? They eat it from within. Y'all got to see the chess moves that God is playing. He said he got caterpillars here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Show me the video. Show me that. This is Canada. Put that up. Canada's right above America. Play the video. Y'all keep on playing. Give me the next video. This is war. Now watch what she say. Hundreds of people gathered in Times Square tonight to mark the beginning of Ramadan. This New York City. organizers tell CBS 2's Leah Mishkin why they wanted to break the first day of fasting in that iconic location. The fast goes from sunrise to sunset each day during Ramadan. 1,500 meals were passed around on 44th and Broadway Saturday night to mark the end of the first day. For Muslims, it's not just about fasting so that we understand how those who are food insecure feel. We actually are doing this so that we can become closer and more conscious of our Creator, our Lord, Allah. One of the organizers of this Times Square gathering is SQ. Muslims of New York City, make some noise! He explains parts of the Quran are recited each day during Ramadan until its completion. SQ says he wanted this special prayer recited in the heart of the city for a reason. We're here to explain our religion to all those who don't know what Islam is all about. Islam is a religion of peace. People need to stop trying to disunite the Christians and the Muslims and the Jews and everyone. That needs to stop. Unity and preaching nonviolence, a message shared by all the people we spoke with here. There's a lot of misconceptions about Islam. There's crazy people throughout all, all cultures, all religions, and they, those small groups of people do not represent the, the majority. We're encouraged to pray, fast, do good deeds, give charity. The Quran is a divine revelation. It's the final revelation that was given to the Prophet Muhammad, who is a messenger in a series of messengers, just like Jesus, just like Moses. We are all united. You work with these people. You take the trains with these people. Like, we are all really one. Ramadan is 30 days long. It ends on May 1st, and then on May 2nd is Eve, which is the celebration of the end of Ramadan. In Times Square, Leia Michigan, CBS let me show y'all what the caterpillar's going to do. Get her back at two. Her back at two. We're going to read six to eight. Watch what's going to happen prophetically. Y'all keep on falling all the way all about love and peace. Okay. Y'all don't think some of the Muslims are Palestinian? Y'all don't think some of the Muslims are mad as hell? Their mothers and fathers and children got killed over there? Okay. Oh, read that. I'm sorry. Read this. Put that on the screen. Put it on the screen. Read that. This is Michael R. Caputo. My take, when the U.S. steps in to assist our longtime ally Israel, tens of thousands of fighting age Palestinians who cross the U.S. border with Biden Co. assistance will execute a long plan and coordinated attack inside America. Do you hear this? They know what this Edomite knows what's about to happen. You be in La La Land and your Christian thoughts. Oh, no, we're all love. Nothing's going to happen. Okay. Habakkuk 2, 6 to 8. Habakkuk chapter 2 and verse 6. Shall not all these take up a parable against him? All the nations that they have hurt are going to take up a parable against America. Go ahead. And a taunting proverb against him and say, woe to him that increases that which is not his. Right. They have increased that which is not his, meaning they have stolen and taken lands by violence that is not their lands. Go ahead. How long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay. The thick clay is all the nations are here. Watch this. 
Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee? Rise up from what? Rise up from sleep. Bite thee means what? Boom! Terrorist activity. Read. And awake. And awake from what? Sleep. Go ahead. That shall vex thee. Vex thee like what? Boom! That's vex thee. Go ahead. And thou shalt be for booties you unto be them. for booties unto them. Was that verse 8? No, sir. Go ahead. Because thou hast spoiled many nations. Because the white man has spoiled many nations. Go ahead. All the remnant of the people shall spoil thee. All the remnant that's here in these country shall spoil America. You got to see how God's got this written out. There's caterpillars within. Oh, yeah. Nations are going to attack without. The, the America's not going to escape. Now, I'm not saying all Muslims right. are terrorists. <laughs> But I am saying all terrorists are Muslim. <laughs> <laughs> hey, back, back to Jeremiah 51 and verse 14. One more again. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 14. The Lord of hosts has sworn by himself, saying, Surely I will fill thee with men as with caterpillars. These men are going to be activated within this country. Go ahead. And, and destroy. Go ahead. And they shall lift up a shout against thee. Y'all know what that shout is? Allah Akbar! Boom! That's what's going to happen. That's the lift up the shout against the Jeremiah 30. We almost done. I keep saying it, but we almost done. This is war! That's right. Jeremiah 30 and 7. Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. Uh -huh. Alas, for that day is great. The day of the Lord is going to be great, brothers and sisters. So that none is like it. This ain't going to be no day like this day of the Lord. Go ahead. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. And it's going to be our time of great trouble. The time of tribulation. That's what Jacob's trouble is. The great tribulation is coming upon us. Go ahead. But he shall be saved out of it. That's right. Don't worry, brothers and sisters. We shall be saved. Those who are alive shall be saved. Some will get killed. Now, when it says saved, let me, let me clear it up. Because I just said some are going to get killed. Right. Saved meaning what? The dead in Christ shall what? Why? Because the righteous never die. Y'all need to understand that thing. The righteous never die. Go ahead. For it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck. God's plan is to break the yoke of Esau off of us. Right. Right. And in order for him to do this, he got to destroy all nations. Go ahead. And will burst thy bonds. Mm -hmm. And strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. See, it's not just the white man, although he's one of the main ones. Follow behind him, you got the Arabs, the Chinese, the <laughs> Japanese. It, Psalms 83 gives a list of nations. <laughs> so read that part again, Yuri. And strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. Read. But they shall serve the Lord their God and David their king. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go ahead. Whom I will raise up unto them. Do y'all hear what that's saying? God will raise up King David. You ain't going to know who King David is. He might be sitting right there. But the Lord said, I'm going to raise him up. He going to be there. Read it again. Read the verse again. Read the verse again. But they shall serve the Lord their God. And David, their king, whom I will raise up unto them. That's some heavy stuff right there. Go ahead. Therefore, fear thou not, O my servant Jacob. So God tells us not to be afraid. Why? Because the righteous never die. This flesh might be burnt up and destroyed, but our spirit don't die. We're going to be with new celestial bodies That's before right. the Lord. That's Y'all understand right. that? Yes, sir. Read on. Saith the Lord. Neither be dismayed, O Israel, uh -huh. for lo, I will save thee from afar. I will save thee from afar. And thy seed from the land of their captivity. And thy seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return. Jacob shall return. And shall be in rest. We're going to be in rest, And be quiet. And we're going to be silent, go ahead. And none shall make him afraid. Nobody ever's going to make us afraid again. Well tried. Well tried. Well tried. And with that, we say shalom. This is war. This is war. All praises to the Lord. Give the Lord all praise, all glory, all praise, all glory.
All priests. This is war. Hallelujah. This is war. Hey man. Hey, I don't know about you. Hey, I don't know about you, man. This class pumped me up to start my new week. <laughs> you stand right there. Yeah, it's like a spiritual books. Pump you up. Up to my side for Bishop. Up Check, check. All right, let's give the Bishop another round of applause for that excellent class. Hey, I got to say this. Ain't nobody else teaching like that. Nobody else. Turn me up. Turn me up. Check, check. Check, check. All right, let's get into it. Uh, let's play the first announcement. All praise the Lord. All praise the Lord. All right. All praise the Lord. Miss you. Miss you. Miss you. Miss you, yeah. Miss you, miss you bad. In any long but not forever. Missing you from the day I done. Crying don't me, even stop the pain. But judge our words keep me strong. I will see you again. Missing you from the day I done. Crying don't me, even stop the pain. But judge our words keep me strong. I will see Again, one time for the fallen soldiers, three time for the fallen soldiers, so now for the fallen, for the fallen, one time for the fallen soldiers, yeah. three time for the fallen soldiers, yeah. so now for the fallen, for the fallen, big up to Barack, big up you, big up yourself, cause you are stuck. stuck. One while you come, but it's in Spanish, but I can feel a fight, see it, and anybody want. All praise, all praises, all praises. Uh, that was in memory of our brother Caleb Israel out of IUIC Gastonia. Hey, he's... Caleb's in his new body right now. Right. His new celestial body. Walking and talking with the Lord. All right. Uh, that was in memory of our brother Caleb Israel out of IUIC Gastonia. Uh, all praises for his faithful works and dedication to the mission of, of the gospel while enduring to the end in the faith of Christ. Isaiah 57 verse 1. The righteous perisheth and no man layeth it to heart. And merciful men are taken away, none considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. Our Lord, will we see our brother again? We will see our brother again. All right. All right, let's go with the first video. This is what we're trying to fix. For 120 days, the prophets of IUIC Detroit, Toledo, Flint, and Grand Rapids voyage across the murder smitten Michigan with one plan to take back what is what rightfully theirs. What I know theirs is that Christ is a black man. What I know the most I died is a black man. You look at that girl for me, bro. We did it. We don't stand by the name. And when we if they stand behind us, we protect them. If they stand beside us, we respect them. But if they stand against us, we destroy them. You the greatest thing that God ever created on the earth. Right. You want to talk about Eve? Eve was a black woman just like you. Right. And guess what she didn't have in her hair? Blood hair. Oh, praise. All praise to the most high. The prophets of IUIC Detroit have completed 120 days of camp. This is the first time this has been done in Detroit history. The word of God will never go out void. All praise to the Father.
All right, T, what's next? Skip that. All right, this is uh, royaltyfilms.com. This is Original Royalty Films. If you would like to donate, uh, visit royaltyfilms.com. Right, as you know, we have, uh, let's give it up for The Curse of Miriam. All right, that's going to be premiering very soon. All right, so all of the donations, uh, we would appreciate that. We would appreciate that, be able to donate. All right, what's next? All right, the IT team is seeking assistance to enhance our national broadcast. Uh, kindly spare a few minutes. What's going on, IT? If, if you can spare just a moment or so, go ahead and take out your phones and scan the QR code. All right, and drop, um, I'm sorry, go ahead and answer a few brief questions that help with our broadcast for every Sabbath. <clears throat> All right, find a school near you. Find a school near you. Uh, the phone number is 855-484-4842. Uh, you can also visit us at our website, www.israelunite.org. For all of those who are watching uh, home every Sabbath, watching the bishop, the deacons, the captains, uh, make sure you join the fight. All right, join the fight. It's good that you're supporting from a distance, but it'd be even better if you join the fight. All right, visit a school near you. All right, play the video. Hold up, we're coming up. Righteous woman, covered up. We honest, stay modest. We persevere for the promise. Put it in work. Helping our brothers and helping the church. Put it in work. Helping our sisters come out of the dirt. The other nations, they trying to do what we do. The devils take us where the children of the book. The other nations, they trying to do what we do. Black is beautiful and they know that's not true. Oh, call me true. All right, step into royalty with our new Women's Feast Day garments. Sisters, y'all ready for Passover? All right, all right. Uh, mesmerizing emerald green and gold personifying re regal flair. All right, don't miss out. Pre-order yours now. Uh, make sure to contact your camp leader for more details. All right, what else we got? What's next? Sign Christ, bless Israel, Bishop of Daniel. Some of you call me the general, and I appreciate that. The gospel has been preached everywhere as yet. There's much work to be done. Okay, in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, around verse 16, I believe Paul said to preach the gospel in regions beyond you and not to boast in other men's work. We don't want to boast in no other camp's work. The Most High called us on a mission. We must fulfill that mission. As we know, the 12 tribes of Israel, like James 1 and 1 said, were scattered throughout all nations. And it's too much work to be done. Too much work to be done. So Israel, I need some volunteers. I need some of you mighty men to stand up. You deacons, captains, officers, soldiers, stand up. I need volunteers to go on this mission. All right, let's give it up for IUIC diaspora. The children of the slave trade scattered throughout the earth have been awaiting this truth to reach them. All right, if you are a part of di the diaspora, email us at IUIC dot diaspora at israelunite.org all right you got barbados and that's when we saw it Hey, Shalom Israel, Moses and Christ bless. I'm Officer Isaiah, I will see Barbados camp. To my left, Soldier Ezra, to my right, Soldier Uriel. And the brothers and I have just completed another 30 days of camp campaign. All the men pitched in, came in from work, came out on the streets, did the most high's work. We're pushing this truth to the four corners of the earth and to all 11 parts of Barbados. And with that, we say, 
Oh, praise. Shout out to IUIC Barbados. The tribe of Benjamin. All oh, praise. The prophets of IUIC Barbados completed another 30 days of camp. We continue to spread this word to the nation of Barbados, teaching them that they are not Bayesians, but the children of Israel. The mission continues as we aim to reach all 11 parishes on this island. All right, let's pull up Belize. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for allowing us to touch ground here in Belize, with Heavenly Father. We pray, Father, that one soul repent. Belize, we are taking over 12 tribes worldwide. And with that, we say shalom. Hi, this is Nathaniel. and I just want to say thank you so much for the good message that you're bringing to us black people. Me personally, there's a lot I have learned listening to you for the past couple of months that I have not been aware of. What I like the most is that for everything that you say, it is backed up by something from the Bible. So you know that it's not something that you are just saying yourself, but that's a message from God. And I just appreciate you guys. I hope that will continue to spread the good word. So give it up. That's right. Hey, all praises. That's in Belize. I've been telling you, brothers, y'all better study. We ain't taking no dummies with us. It got to be well, well studied brothers who's in good standing. Diligent brothers. All praise the prophets of IUIC Dallas and the Carolinas touchdown in Belize to wake up the tribe of Zebulon and the scattered of Israel. Many received the word and learned their true nationality. The congregation was comforted and in the spirit. Follow IUIC Belize for the full documentary. All right, Little Lights. All right, Little Lights Casting Call. Uh, Little Lights is an educational kids TV show centered around puppets based on the 12 tribes of Israel. Viewers will experience how the Little Lights interact, learn, and problem solve by applying biblical wisdom laws, statutes, and commandments. We are looking to fulfill the following position. So make sure y'all review that. All right, man, make sure to reach out to your local IT lead for the link to sign up. All right, once again, ro Original Royalty Films, and put up the movie poster for The Curse of Miriam. All right, so let's give it up one more time. All right, for The Curse of Miriam. All right, it's coming to theater soon. All right, we got some big plans, so coming to theater soon. All right. So now we got to get ready for the most anticipated movie video ever. All right, that's going to be available on YouTube and available ready for purchase on Original Royalty. Go ahead and put it, play the first 30 seconds. If you do this, you'll be warm. Play the whole thing. Ready for war? 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 Ready for
a head. The time is coming, you scared? Pass me the sword of a head. I do me in blood everywhere. Father, teach me your ways. Before the Lord takes you away. Told me be bold like a lion. There is a war. Somebody die. Never give up. Never give in. This is a fight. We're destined to win. Strike the enemy. Aim for the head. In their eyes, I'm never again. Hit him again and again. Again and again, I can't show no mercy. The people we gotta defend. Give them a hundred percent. Gotta be worth. I know that you're listening. You must remain humble and disciplined. You must keep the hunger and vigilance. And execute punishment vengeance. I'm a supply when I'm older. Know that the tough get colder. Pushing this weight on my shoulders. Get light with the sword of the host. Remember, my avenger. You're a fighter, a defender. For your father, a contender. For the body and his numbers. This is you teach, I meditate. Until we walk into heaven gates. I'm ready to fight, won't hesitate. For the law of my life, I'm a dedicated. Dedicate, then you will elevate. Remember your father in heaven, no surrogate. Sharper your sword on the stone for the heaven. Remove all that leather, get ready, don't hesitate. We in the battle, skip that on the detonate. Remember your stock, get it popping, then decimate. We are the sons of the prophets, no featherweight. Built for this battle, revive what they desecrate. Ready for war, ready to bloody my sword. Ready to kick in the door. Ready forever, the devil been breaking. I seen that you did it, I'm ready to sue. I'm packing my Bible, got everything with me. I want to give me, I heard you before. I got to put in this world for my people. Then I eat, cause I'm ready to war. You ready to war? Ain't for his head. Nah, it ain't dead if his blood isn't shed. Bet he gon' pay for the day when he begged him to raise and he raised off our faces instead. Woo! Fire from heaven, no breast. Eat him, gon' need him a rest. Sword through his crest. Call her relieving my stress. We end in his name nonetheless. I am a son of a leader. I'm trying to park me a Peter. I heard what you said, but these demons ain't ready. I don't need the mic. I need readers ready to battle whatever, whoever can get it. Let's think of what bishop he needs to fill up and beat us. The black you know that there's how many healers can never defeat us. We are the leaders. Wait, hey. Boy, you gon' have your day swinging and slinging that sword. Better remember that it cut both ways. Better fix your face, cause this race ain't cake. Yeah, be humble, don't step out your place. Your pace is possessing your soul. Remember the folk, cause the king on the way. The king on the way, and I can't wait. All of these you just gon' vacate. We come over with just so low, put up buildings. We give a new meanings of May. They pull up and shut up whoever is tripping. Submit my victim with scriptures. They give them the business, don't get it, I'm ready. Ready ain't nothing, I'm petty. I'm slicing up better than that. Remember the law, kingdom is ours. Dragon is raw, we coming for all. Nations gon' fall, you ready for war? Strong in the law, ended by far. Then pick up my sword, you killing them all. Blood on the floor, you ready for war? Rah, rah, you ready for war? Rah, rah, you ready for war? Rah, rah, you ready for war? Rah. Y'all better put some respect on Bishop Bars, man. Put some respect on Bishop's Bars. That should have came, came right after class, man. <laughs> now, I want to say something on that right there. Hey, you, you can never play that enough. You know why? Because when it comes to damn December, y'all know we hear every day, all day, every day. We hear damn jingle bells and all the heathens music 24-7. 
Now we finally got our own music. That's we should right. be bumping this every day. That's right. Every day. All praises. All praises. All right, all right. Real quick, uh, premiering tonight on Original Royalty Recordings from the Sons of God, the sixth video installment, East Babylon from the Super Flame album, The Round Table, Men's Conference Soundtrack, available tonight on Original Royalty, all digital stores and streaming sites. Uh, you can go ahead and play it. Drama and it's hostile. Where I'm at, we cure the trauma with the gospel. More than 12, it's like a thousand apostles. Hit your block and then we dip like it's nachos. What's the op? We in the kitchen where they pop toast. Riding like a Tahoe, never scared of them potholes. We came to save the same ones they made a victim. Plague with the sickness, the scripture gave the prescriptions. It's a doctor bag, play without the hockey mask. Came to chop up whoever, then it's a body bag. Told them we the sons of God, and I got to brag. All right, all right, let's give it up. Let's give it up. All right, make sure to visit Original Royalty on YouTube. All right, that's dropping tonight. Pull up the next graphic, the Roundtable album. All right, and we also have merch available for all artists on OriginalRoyalty.com. All right, this concludes the announcements. All right, everybody got bread and wine? Yuri, you got it? Yes, sir. All right. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, ye do show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. In the name of our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ, we pray and we thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Get a Lord another round of applause for Bishop Nathaniel Fire Class. Let's rise on our feet, Israel. Check, check. Men of Israel, are you ready? Always ready. Are you ready? Always ready. What time is it? What time? What time is it? What time? Who's the king? Christ. Who's the king? Christ. What color is he? Black. What color is he? Black. Who are we? Israelite. Who are we? Israelite. Twelve tribes. Worldwide. Twelve tribes. Worldwide. Unity. 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 Never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Never give up. Faith. Patient. Salvation. The truth. Faith. Patient. Salvation. The truth. Now finally, my brethren. Be strong in the Lord. His what? His what? His what? His what? His what? 